Hey, 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 it's your local Mars Dominator here. Good evening, everyone. Domo, domo, konbawa. Sekashia shamazu desu. Yo, we are gonna play Doppelganger today. Hey! By the way, how is everyone doing? Mei na genki. Good evening. Hi, Peridon. Hi. I. I'm sorry for streaming at this hour. I actually just realized that Aniki is streaming right now for, on VCR, of all things. <laughs> oh man, I want I wanted to watch it live, but yeah. Um, yeah, I'm gonna play uh, Double Game here today. Um, hold on, let me turn on chat on my phone so I can see. Mm, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I hope everyone's doing great. I just had dinner. I have baso for dinner. It's pretty nice. I thought I thought there's there's not gonna be anyone at home. There's not Aniki is at my house, and then he bought some. Show must go on, right? True. <laughs> uh, Aniki is apparently at home, and then he he bought me KFC. I was like, you should have told me, you should have told me, or else I won't have like spent money to eat some freaking baso. God damn it! <laughs> God damn it, Aniki! Why is it always like this? But yeah, uh, so I uh, so. We decided that um, the the KFC chicken can be for tomorrow's breakfast. And yep, no food's gonna gonna gonna, gonna be uh, gonna get wasted. So yeah, nothing to worry about. All right, uh, I'm gonna gonna put this aside. Oh wait, I can put it here. Hold on, let me move my Magni acrylic stand. <laughs> Magni. Hold on, I want to put my phone here. Oh my god, there's a lot of cables. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, as you know, as some of you might know, I'm a I'm a Hollow Stars fan. <laughs> uh, I've I've not I've not exactly been there since debut. I did watch like Magdi's debut, and a little bit of Axel's. After that, I don't really pay attention to them until like Judge Magni happened. Or, I think there was like this other stream. I forgot what it is. All right, um, hold on. Let me do audio check real quick. The audio seems slow, on the game. Auto speed? Oh hell yeah! Please. Um, window full screen. I already had the window, so that's fine. Should I raise the the audio a little bit? Okay, guys. Uh, can you check? Can you check for me if the audio is like good enough for your ears? I think it's fine on my ear, but I don't know about you guys. Uh, the music's a banger. What is this? The music is so good. I guess. From the bar, it looks good, but I don't know about you guys. Is the audio good? Okay, let me raise it a little bit more, and then uh, I will go back. Alright. Kinda low. Okay. I'll just raise the... Here, then. Okay, how about now? How about now? Damn! This, is, this is goes hard! This music goes hard! Okay, good. Okay, I guess we can go for it now. Let's start. We're gonna play a visual novel. Ne, kyo wa, ano, visual. Visual ge ni, ano. Visual show set. Visual novel. Dochi dake. Wakan nai kedo. Ma, so you game da ne. And yeah, we're gonna play with our, the boys. Um, uh, I think we should just start immediately. What is your name? Uh, Mars. Are you sure? Yes. I'm Mars, yeah. Tashi wa Mazda. Empty hole. Or is it more like a cave? You wander the empty space for what it feels like eternity before happening upon six doors. You sense different, but vaguely familiar presence on the other sides of each. Inhale, exhale. 
You feel like so. Oh, I already did it. Somehow you know that your journey won't end until you're passed through all of them. You may take as long or as little as you like, but you must still pick a door. Door to fate. Unme no door. Now that Mars, which will it be? Sa, egabe. Oh! 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 Okay, guys, 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 guys. Uh, who should we start first? I will save Shinrei for the last because people have told me that we should save Shinrei for the last. By the way, I'm going blind. I don't know anything that happened in this game. Ano ne? Hatsupuke da kaga ano? Nani ga okoka? Zenzen wakan nai kedo. Doe ga koko de nanka mo ruto kimeta poi kedo. We there, there's. The moment you choose a door, like your route is pretty much decided. Door, door, door. No, Egabe toki wa mo ruto kimatte mitai in da kedo ne. Tabum ending ga oi kana. Maybe there's like a lot of endings per person. But yeah, uh, we should Shinri for this. Ano doe ga ne? Ano minna ga Shinri saigo ni sugu no ga ii kana to ga. Not gonna lie, I want to do Aniki. I'm an axolotl. I gotta choose Aniki. But maybe if we can go for anyone, if if um if we should go for some specific someone for first, then the, and then I don't mind. Let's go. Let's go. Or right. okay, let me let me okay show the characters. The the art is so good. Ne character ne Demon King Mao. Agatha ne Altair. Exalt Prince. Uh, what is Exalt? Maoji. Akusega-san no ne? Aniki! Oh, what's this? It's a visual novel! With VTubers! Oh my god, battle! I mean... Showman, what is that? Look at those thighs! They're exposed! Young man, you'll get cold from that. Look at the legs. It's not visible, but it's going to go. Oh, I like it. There's a, like a heart on his, like... Showman, show, color-wise, showman actually like looks good for like an evil battle. Kaga demon, okay. Damn it, Haka, those ways. Okay, <laughs> I should. I'm I'm trying to be a sane temper out here. I'm j I'm trying not to. I'm trying to be respectful. Haka looks nice. Okay. I don't like the I don't like the fur on the arms. Oh, the feathers on the arms. But yeah, other than that, he he's cool. Okay, other one, B Legion. No, 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 no. I respect it. I respect them. Okay, Shinri, Huntsman. Well, he's a Huntsman. Oh, yeah, I, I... When the game came out, I left a comment on the trailer. And I, I suspect that... Somehow Shinri is the nicest of all of them. He must be the most evil one then. And then everyone's like... Um... About that. <laughs> yeah... We'll save Shinri for the last because I heard there's like a lot of lore, lore. on it. And then lastly, we have uh, Fleon as Abandoned Automaton. Saigo wa ne, ano, maki na ne. He's a, he's a doll basically. Yeah. So all from all of this, we gotta play each one, I think. So we can get like an actual ending. The, the real ending. But I assume we can... I assume we can, like, get multiple endings from each character. Talk about the... Talk about the tweet caption. I played this game on Mother's Day, so it's okay. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna... I'm gonna choose my Oshi. Oshi wo erabimasu. Akusaku-san. 100%. Of course I'm gonna 100% this. Of course. 100% ne? Okay, let's go for the Exalt Prince. Aniki! <laughs> whoa, 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 okay, we, we started already. <laughs> Let me try voice acting. I, 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 his voice is difficult. I, I can't, I can't do Australian accent. Don't get cold feet on me now. I told you what you need to do, remember? We'll need to head into Demon's King Castle and take back the flame shard that he's got. Got unlocked away in the throne room. Oh, 
We're invading. We're invading Altair. Naka Altair, ne? Ano? Naka kogeki suga mita. You say it's like, you say like, you say it like it's going to be easy. Isn't the castle highly protected? Well now. Why does he sound so? He sounds so different. Koe chigakune? The guards aren't the part I need help with. Then what? I'm more than capable of handling this whole army by myself. Okay. Okay, Mr. Gladiator. Hitman assassin. Uh, doctor. Uh, Tempest wheel winner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I'm trying not to be weird. I'm trying not to be weird. I'm doing my best. Not to mention my elemental advantage. The exiled pl prince dismisses my concern with a flippant lift of his shoulders. After being attacked in a, in a land called the Fire Plain by a horde of other devils, he would eventually come to my rescue. Oh. Oh, so he saved us. Aww. Aniki. It's been days now since I passed through that door in the, in the abyss. I would immediately notice his striking visual similarly to Axel Sirius, the guild's gladiator. <laughs> but when I asked him about it, he would just laugh at me. I don't think you're gonna be normal in the end though. Oh my god, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Aniki, please be, not, be gentle to meet me. Yasasukushitene. Why did I say that? That sounds wrong. <laughs> With a heap of devil bodies lying unconscious at his feet, he would offer to help me get home at the cost of a favor. Nani soe? What's the favor? Ongaishi wa nanda? Nani ga Nani ga hoshi? The exiled prince is laid back, relaxed, and unsettlingly cunning. Oh! So he's actually good at scamming then. Unlike the... Well, the other, well, the, well, the other guys who are good at scamming as well. He's the type of person who seems open but actually keeps many secrets. Alright! But I still owe in my life. And besides, it's not like I have any other op options. Why do you have that face? Aniki, how koi? You don't have teeth. Right now, we are in the Ice Blade, a rival kingdom that's ruled by someone called the Demon King. Naka kori no. Naka. The exalt prince told me he has a bone to pick with him. Things are getting boring of all, for all of us around here. His commentary snaps me from my thoughts. You mean for the people? I mean for everyone in every kingdom, even the people who live in their ice blade. <laughs> What's a little chaos? Everyone loves some excitement. If you ask me, even the Demon King would be, be happy for a challenge. It gives him the opportunity to bear his fangs and play. So, what do you say? Um, I hesitate to respond. Yeah, I owe this man my life, but goddamn, he's sick in the head. He's he's sick in the head. Atama kutta na koitsu. I still don't feel the best about being here. It's impossible to feel comfortable getting caught up with some other world's conflicts without any context. The exiled prince recognizes it for what it is. You know? This is the only way to get you back to the world you came from, Mars. Really? <laughs> oh, that, yeah, um, you know what makes sense? I'll tear someone else here. He's devil, anyway. True. And I suppose you're good looking enough to keep around my castle, but what? Weren't you worried about getting back to those Tempest people you mentioned? If you humor me, I'll handle the scary parts. Aww. All I really need from you is you to take the flame shard from where the king has placed it. What does the shark look have? It doesn't matter. Why me? Yeah. Why do you need it? I don't know. But why me? Why do you need it? I know this too. Let me ask. Why do you need it? Why do you need it? Does it do something special? 
なんで火のかけらが必要なの何か特別の何かあるん well, now. It returns full power and life to the fireplane. あーなんか火の国で、あのー、ね、力が戻すみたい。You probably noticed that the devils who attacked you when you first got here were incapable of speech or understanding. I do remember that, there it is. The devils were humanoid, but haven't responded or listened to me. They've been intent of swarming and attacking. You、yeah, know? As long as the flame shard is missing from our kingdom, The devils are doomed to live like that. Without thought, incapable of understanding their surroundings. Huh. But you weren't affected. Yeah! You weren't affected! <laughs> How am I not surprised that you're so skeptical? It doesn't affect me because I'm a royal. Okay, okay, okay! The flame shard is an artifact of my bloodline. なるほど。OG だから力があのまだ残ってる。でも他の,他の悪魔がなんか力がなくなったらしいで、あの正気が消えちゃったみたい。正気,正気な,くなくなっちゃったかな ?That makes some sense.But definitely not as much as sense as I would like it to.So, after you return power and life to the fireplane. You will be able to return me to my home world. Is that it though? Yeah. Right? Because then me and my devils will return to our usual magical potential. Devils steer to realms all the time. It's a piece of cake for us. Oh! Wait, we can't do all of the options? Okay, we answer. Okay, why me? Nande watashi? Machina. Wait a second. If you're so strong, then why do you need me to help you? Oh my god, you're not going to be able to do it. Why do you need me to help you? Can't you just go in, take everyone out, and then take the shark back yourself? Huh? <laughs> If it were so simple, what use would you. Hmm. How to put this? Is he blushing? Why does he look like she's blushing? I'm not going to be able to do it. Is it just me or maybe? Whatever. The truth is, the flame shard has been. The flame shard's been cursed by the demon king. So, the flame shard's been cursed by the demon king. So, the flame shard's been cursed by the demon king. Curse? No, really? So, he wants me to curse myself then. No way. Well, now. Hold on there. Before you say everything, you're wrong. The curse only has an effect on the residents of this world. And since you're not, can you really be sure? I thought you have a way of knowing firsthand. If visitors from other worlds came in all the time, your kingdom would still be the strongest in the land. Right? I'm only assuming from what he's told me so far. <laughs> You're a good listener. It frustrates me that he doesn't seem a, seem even a little rattled by what I said. You know? But if you want the only answer I have for you, it's because everything that's happened is part of a prophecy. Oh, Yogen ga Arashi. You being here was prophesied hundreds of so years ago, when the fire plane was still the strongest kingdom in Elysium. Dora, what does that mean? Sonza ga nanga Yogen. We are part of a prophecy. Huh. The prophecy foretold that there will be a time where Ice Plane will overtake our land, in which the Flame Shard will be returned to us by a mysterious visitor who is not belonging to this world. <laughs> It's a cool story, isn't it? Not to mention that the fate of my kingdom seems to revol re revolve around you. Hmm, なるほど You know? If you ask me, you should be flattered. You're the answer to saving this land from the Ice Plains corruption. Surely you must feel a little, even a little important after hearing all of that. <laughs> I'm, I'm having trouble translating. What does the shark look like? 
Okay, well, what does the shard look like? It's a huge, bright, light, red rock. Yeah, no? Not that different than the kinds you see in museums. And maybe about the size of a human brain? Why did you... Okay, uh, that's a very specific comparison. You can hold it in your hands like this. The exiled prince makes a craddling gesture with his hands, as if it will help me visualize. It's a little weird, and he looks like he's holding an invisible baby or something. Okay, seems simple enough. Anyway, let's not beat around the bush. Seems more promising than roaming the world aimlessly and making an enemy out of the fire plane's ruler. What other leads do I have? Reluctantly giving him a nod, I follow the exiled prince into the castle. Aniki, I told you I'm streaming. Hold on. Never mind. The exalt prince has an had a light about his battle prowess. Oh. Okay. Fearlessly and without care, he taken out one guard after another. Oh, minani. Boko boko ni suru. In the devastating combination of fire magic and physical combat, he proved himself a force of nature. He really had a need my help when it come to a fight. Okay. Why do I feel disappointed? Maybe deep down I wanted to help more. Or had I wanted to swing my fist too? Oh, nice. Exciting, see? Well now. This way. We're almost there. Oh, kire. With the exiled prince wiping out the entire castle in the Demon King's absence, there's no one left to interview. <laughs> exciting! <laughs> Cho! Exciting! <laughs> the flame shard is now in plain sight behind the throne, protected by the sigils that float around here. Is it true that only I can touch it and walk away unscathed? I don't know. Uh, remember, Axel Sirius is a scammer. Who you know? Who knows? Maybe this person is a scammer as well. If so, I'm only moments away from securing my way home. I turn and look at the exiled prince as he approaches behind me, smirking and wiping the blood from his knuckles. Well now. I expected a bit more fun than that. But I suppose it's always been the king himself who put the most fight. My eyes are drawn back to the flame shard. Even without the prince egging me on, something inside me urged me to take it from its place. Maybe it really had been fate for me to take it. Try and make him take it. You take it. Oh, nice. Oh, I kind of like it when you're bossy. I'm serious. Did you already forget what I told you before? Yeah, no. No one from this world behi besides the Demon King himself had can reach through that seal without being cursed. You're the only one who can. Because your fate isn't connected to this world. Just relax. Maybe it had really been fate for me to take it. What if I try don't take it? I can't get rid of courage. I'm too afraid of what ha might happen to me if I touch it. Is a prophecy I've never heard of really enough for me to risk my own safety? I feel stupid. Uh -huh. What are you waiting for? I can't. Uh -huh. <laughs> Still afraid? I can hold your hand while you do it. Whoa, 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 Aniki! Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, Aniki! Aniki, don't... Hey, 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 um... Please? <laughs> of course I'm afraid. Oh, please. We don't have all day. Nothing's going to happen. Sure. Okay. But I guess I could just go home if you want to give up on going home. He treats my situation so lightly. Is this what it means to be a devil? I'm not giving up. Maybe it really had been free for me to take it. Alright. Chose take it. Got the achievement. Oh, heartbeats. I'll do it. It takes me a moment to swallow my fear, but I trust my intuition. Bro, we're in we're in Altair's castle. He's gonna stab me as soon as I touch it. I anticipate the worst. I wince and anticipate that I'll be burned, but to my surprise, my fingers slip through the sigils. I clasp the f flame shard in my hands. 
Though I'm not looking at him, I can feel the exiled prince excitement bubble up behind me. See now? That wasn't so bad. I withdraw the shard and pull it to my chest. In the very same moment, the icy castle seems to thaw or all around us. Oh, nice. Ah, uh, that's our cue. We should be getting back to the fire plane. What's happening? No time for that. Let's go. The floor begins to shake beneath our feet and I stumble. Right. Whatever is whatever is going on is dangerous. And a little exciting. <laughs> Cho! Exciting! <laughs> oh, let me let me say it in his voice, like exciting! Exciting! <laughs> Was this feeling? As the prince and I make our escape from the fire, from from the ice plate castle, I feel the warmth of the flame shard spread, as if it's flushing through my veins. And as if the ice plane's impending demise is, as if the shaking of its very foundation is a little fun to see. Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, actually, yeah, it is. I don't understand why I think so. We reach the fire plane. Ooh, nice house. Back in the safety of the prince's castle, time finally seems to catch up to us. After taking the flame shard back to its place hidden deep in the dungeons, the exiled prince returns to my side with a big smile on his face. Wow, I thought we were gonna see Altair. I thought we were gonna see No. There's no one there. Why is that? Hmm. Hmm. Surely. Surely. Hmm. Surely it will make sense later. Oh, nice. Home sweet home. And with that, everything is almost back in order. That kingdom was starting to crumble, is that right? I need to confirm. <laughs> Something like that. More important than that, it's reverting to its original state. It was a part it was part of the fire plane before the demon king took over. Just have to wait for now. See what the Demon King does. What was it like before? What was it? Yeah, I can't help but be curious. I want to know more. I want to know more about why he's so set on getting back the Demon King. It was a lot more fun compared to what it's like now. My old man was the last king of the Fire Plane before the Demon King often. Oh, okay, that's a that count. His father was murdered. I can't see why he would hold a grudge. I'm really sorry to hear that. Huh? Huh? Alright. Humans think that sort of thing is sad. He raised his head, didn't he? Nothing like that. To be honest, I was kind of happy when he died. Okay. Understandable. Have a great day. How can he admit something like that so openly? I feel myself frowning. You know? What? It's the truth. More room for me to have fun that way. Don't act like it's such a bad thing. Ah, look at this! Look at, look at the blush! <laughs> I don't even know how to reply. So this is really how a devil prince thinks. My exhaustion is beginning to catch up with me. But I can't let him forget about our deal. Now that it's over, we should rest up for the night. <laughs> Go ahead. Make yourself comfortable. Stand my ground. I'm not staying any longer than I have to. Tomorrow, we're going to use the flame shard to get me back to my world. Understood? Sure, okay. No need to be so tense about it. I'm a man of my word. You're so scurry off now. It's been a long night. Hmm? Yeah, no? Ala, ala, ala! Chikai, chikai, chikai! Chikai, chikai! Chikai! Keep your distance, man! But I guess we could make it even longer if you want. If you're so stubborn and want to, how do you feel about sharing with others? Allah. What? Sharing what with others? You? What? Yeah. Whoa. 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 <laughs> Man, I like the art, the shading. It's just that some when when he, you know that one stream where he. Decides to bring the fire prince out. 
And then there's someone in the chat pointed out that yeah, he he got no teeth. I cannot unsee that now. No, don't make it weird. I'm going to bed. I can't believe this. <laughs> <laughs> Suit yourselves. Good night, Mars. Ala. And with that, I make a hasty exit. After winding down, and I lay when I lay in bed, I kept thinking about the ice ice plane. Hmm. What happens to it from here? Should I have help? No, we can't. I tried the other options. Whatever. What happens in this world is none of my business because I'm not part of it. I just need to get back to the guild. Whoa! Well, now. Why? Why? Why are you in jail? Okay. And now that Mars out of my hair, the flame shark is all mine. <laughs> Too easy. Time to take it all back. Aniki, nani ga takugan deru no? What are you planning, Aniki? Hmm? I'm up bright and early that morning. I searched the castle premises for the exiled prince, but can't find him anywhere. Scam. Yeah, we got scam for sure. Oh, of course, I should have known this. Where's my Axel the plushie? Come on. Come on, come here, little Axel. You see that? You see that? You see that? Huh? You see that, your little Axel? You're getting scammed. You're getting scammed. You better ask him for your paycheck later. I should have. I should have placed an Axel little plushie here on my on my screen. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, maybe I can do that real quick. Hold on. Never mind, I don't. Alright. Uh, check on the flame shard. Check outside the castle frame. How about the flame shard first? My gut tells me maybe I should check on the flame shard. After descending down to the dungeons where I remember, he placed a shard. Wait, where would he go? It's gone. Hmm. Was it stolen? Or did he take it somewhere else? The former makes most sense. I don't know. Maybe an enemy have infiltrated overnight and he left to change them down. Nah, it's not that easy. I need to find him. Alright, check outside. Hold on, sorry. There's a chance he's outside somewhere. Wasting no time, I make my I make my way out. That's a very normal looking castle. But he isn't here. This looks like something out of Minecraft. Is it? It looks like something out of Minecraft, not gonna lie. Okay, there you go. I actually, I figured it out. Hold on. I'm gonna put an axle little plushie on my on, on my side. Hold on. <laughs> um. I have the real one here by my side as well, so my, I might as well, right? Hold on. Let me do that real quick before we continue. Ala. Ala. <laughs> We got an axle all with us! Let's go! You see that? We're gonna look for your freaking owner. And ask him for our paychecks. Okay? Okay, but he isn't here. What am I supposed to do? I leave the castle. The streets are littered with devils invergated by the return of the flay shark. Their nature is still volatile, but at least they're capable of understanding me now. What the exiled prince had told me seems to be right. Hmm. Hopefully things are okay. With the flame shard stolen from the ice plane, just what kind of future remains in this world? Hmm. I try not to worry too much about it. I also try not to feel too responsible. After a full day of, of searching for him, I find the exiled prince in emerging from an underground stairwell. <laughs> What's with the music? 
Well, yeah, let me see. I haven't... I play, I'm playing a vision of and I, I haven't saved until now. <laughs> Behind him, some music is leaking through the cracks of what seems to be a club or bar, bar door. Oh no, he's getting drunk. Where were you? And does he even know the shirt is missing? The flame shirt is missing! Sure, okay. No, it isn't. It's missing from the dungeon. I checked it while I was looking over for you. Did you forget what you promised? You're supposed to open the round to send me home today. Yeah? Ah. That's all he asked to say for himself? About that. <laughs> I lied to you. Motherfucker, I knew it! I freaking knew it! <laughs> My world goes still. Yep. This is the consequences of being an asshole. You're gonna get scammed over, over, and over. He what? I don't want to believe him. Now it's not the time to play around. You know? No one here has that kind of power, not even me. Actually, I'm pretty surprised. <laughs> He went along with everything I said so easily. Because he helped me. Because I thought he would take me home. You think I would really care about whether you or not you got home? Yeah, no. You should be more on your toes. This isn't my fault. I'm not stupid. It wasn't stupid for me to believe him. <laughs> Devils like me take advantage of naivety. Is that how we read it? It's nothing personal. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you guys hear that? Love Taskaru Taskaru My God I'm I'm not look listen I just promised that I'm gonna be sane I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be respectable, and look what I'm doing now! Just part of our nature. Okay, what now? It's personal! You owe me, you made a deal! Once he reaches me, I shove him back to the web fence that lines on the street. Lines the street. He's so unbothered all of the time. I just want to break his face. Punch him. I swear, punch him. Come on, we can do it. It would be fun to break his face. I ra race hell and attack him. <laughs> Mood. <laughs> I clobber him with my fist, even as I hear, hear him chuckle at me all of the way. There's no way it doesn't hurt. Even if he's acting in the face, I know my own strength. I want to hurt him. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, um, um, Mars in the game, calm down. <laughs> I think one punch is enough. I want him to pay for deceiving me. What was the point of all of this? You just wanted to use me? I hate you! Take me back to Tempest! Take me back or give me the flame shark back! Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I'm calm. I am calm. I am calm. I am calm. As I throw my arm at him, he catches my wrist and pulls it to his chest. Kao. Kao ga. Kao da yo. His face. From beneath, I feel heat surging through my body. It's the same way uh, it felt when I. No, don't tell me. He <laughs> The flame shards right here, Mars. Right back where it belongs. He squeezed me gently. The warmth of the flame shard pulses with the rhythm of his heartbeat. So he has one. <laughs> Let the CG sit for five seconds! <laughs> Aniki appreciator, okay! <laughs> we got we got we got an achievement. 
Yeah, I, I am Aniki appreciator. I respect him. In the most respectable way possible, of course. You got... Hey, 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 hey. Hey, listen. I'm... I'm not thirsty. I'm not simping. I'm just respecting his grind, career, whatever you want to call that. I know I'm running out of words to say. I don't know what it means. What does this mean for me? My body is shaking. His blue eyes rake over my expression and his head inclines as if drinking in the side of me. And I feel... And I think you're right here where you belong too. I didn't force you to do anything. I saw it in your eyes. You're just like me now. I don't know what you mean. Can we uh, at least get one or two more voice lines? Okay, Annalise. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. The prince runs his tongue over his teeth carefully. <laughs> it was... Exciting. Exciting. You like seeing the ice plane starts to crumble. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay to say it because we're the same now. He touched the flame shard. And now you're a devil just like us. Oh my god, okay. Oh, oh, oh okay. My fingers curl against the fabric of his jacket. What's your name? It's Sirius. The name is familiar and foreign to me at the same time. Crap that let's go. I actually like this ending already. Kono ending ina. Naka. Hmm. I didn't think you would tell me. <laughs> I told you because you're a devil now. And more importantly. <laughs> You're my new partner in crime. <laughs> oh my god, do you hear that? Screams? Uh? Uh-huh. Is this a proposal remote? I wish. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> The sounds of screams. How beautiful the other Elysium had been that evening. On its last evening standing. As Prince Sirius and I watched our world burn into crisp, we were in the chaos together. At that moment I knew. I found a new home for myself. I <laughs> started a new one. A world far more beautiful than I, what I had before. Can we have more and more CG? World in flames. Clear exiled prince route. Only one? Okay, that... That's it? Okay. Um... Gochisouzama deshita! Gochisouzama deshita. Maji oishikatta desu. Tasukaru. Check extra. You have uh, acquired one key. Kagi mogatta. Check extra. Okay, fine. I'll do it. Extra, extra. Uh, nanda. Credits, profiles, gallery. I'm guessing gallery. Okay, so there's only one CG for. <laughs> there's only one CG for um. For character. Kono game yabe na. Bro! <laughs> I, I want to look at it, but at the same time, it's like too much. Uwa, gisukao ii na. His... Gisukao te... What is it? It's like a... It's like an evil, evil, like, smug face. It looks good on him. The draw makes it do a little better. Yabe, yodame ga, yodame ga mecha ii. Gisukao mecha ii. Huh. 
All right, enough, enough. Uh, we gotta continue. Damn it! Hall Stars EM management really knows what we want. We profiles? Okay, we should be. Okay, th this is a lot though. Okay, this is a little bit too crowded. I, uh, my graphic designer sense are tingling. Okay, Axel series. Uh, the Exiled Prince of the Fire Plane. Axel series doppelganger. Fire Plane. The other Elysium. Likes instigating conflict, teasing others. Hot bats, getting sweaty. Hey yo! <laughs> this likes becoming bored. Boat rides, singing. Lack of challenge. Favorite food? Anything with mushrooms. Summary. Though it's easy when this position may be misleading. No one enjoys chaos quite as much as the exalt prince of the fire plane. He's a powerful flame devil and was the next in line to rule when his father dominated all the other Elysium. Uh, things went awry for him when the demon king of the ice plane assassinated his father and stole a great source of power, the cursed flame shard. However, he now looks forward to taking the world back to it for himself with a carefree attitude and thinks it will be an exciting development for everyone. He is very cunning and lies to others without hesitation. He al he's also a well-known hedonist and Casanova. With a large har harem of devil lovers that fawn over him from the sidelines, because the Demon King's protective sigils prevented the exiled prince from regaining the stolen flame shard by himself, he would use the player to retrieve it on his behalf, aware that only they could bypass the king's magic. What he wouldn't reveal was that Due to the nature of the flame shard itself, the player would, as a result, be transferred into the devil himself by doing the dirty work for him. Oops. Um. Hold on. He has a large harem of devil lovers that fought over him from the sidelines. Of course, he's also cheating. Many, many cheating. Of course. I am not surprised. <sighs> well, um, we just need... Five more, I guess. Alright, who should we go for next? Tsugi wa dare! Average Axel Auto experience indeed. True! We're getting scam. We're getting. We're getting enslaved, you know, free labor. We get no paycheck. And what else? We we got, you know, he's cheating on us. What else? And they freaking mess with us, yeah. Okay, uh, let me skip. All right, who's next? Tsugi wa dare da. They don't, they don't tell you if you're complete. They don't really mark when you complete the story, but I guess you know. I mean, the game... Oh. I want to try either Battle or Flayon. I want to... Maybe I want Altair to be second last. I don't know why. Cause for me. Haka? I can't really imagine what the story will be, but that would be interesting as well. Okay, let's go Haka. <clears throat> okay. Let me try imagine his voice and I'm going to I'm going to fail at it. Hold on, let me drink. Huh. <laughs> as soon as I said that I choke. Hold on. <coughs> <laughs> Took you long enough to return, human. It's been nearly uh, the entire day. Huh? And for that moment there, I suspect that you will attempt escaping your service to me. The offerings you brought back from this plane called Supermarket better be the finest in the land. Um... You're a brat. <laughs> huh? Honestly, call a car is even a brat. My words spark his ire. I sense that no one's ever held their own against him. 
I sacrificed a lot of time and effort to get you these ingredients. I can't trudge all the way back down the mountain and bring them back to the farmers. Huh? Could you now? You would best avoid such boorish language when speaking with me. Know your place, mortal. Otherwise, you will regret this display of insolence. He speaks down to me. From what I've seen so far, it must just be a part of how he communicates with the mortal realm. He isn't human after all. Yeah. He's, he's a demon. A crow one. At that locally referred to as a Karasu. What I see before me now is a Karasu demon that I acci accidentally summoned. What? Wait. What? Accidentally summoned when I landed in parallel parallel world. How it happened is a little embarrassing. What? What did you do? What did you do, Mars in the game? What did you do? But essentially, uh, I wound up bleeding on this statue of another uh, in another Xenokuni like place. <laughs> and have met have met a Bonzo in Haka look like there. The demon in front of me doesn't know who Haka is. He's never heard of him. Even after I tried explaining Guild Tempest and Haka's role as an exorcist, I've been dismissed. It's always like that with the Scarso demon. What's worse is that maybe I'm getting used to it. Well, Rather than me, the Karsa demon is more interested in the groceries hanging from my elbow. Plastic rustles when I set the bags down on the living room table. We have plastics in this world? <laughs> I've gotten him an assortment of fruits, vegetables, meat, fish, and dairy products. What had been weird about the farmer's market is that they accepted the same currency as back in my home world. Convenient. Great, we're losing money. We're paying him for a free meal. We're getting scammed as well. What do you think? Hmm. He leans forward to pick into the bag, but his expression doesn't change. Prepare them for me. Huh? Aren't they fine how they are? The fruits and vegetables should be fresh. Do tell me. How many raw food offerings from my worshippers do you think I've tried in my years of existence? <sighs> These as they are brings a little value. There's no flavor I haven't tried and there's not even any crab here. Why would you want a crab? Do you like crab? <laughs> <laughs> it is the best food there is. There is simply nothing in the physical realm that could ever compare. That's pretty subjective. Salisbury stick is probably my go-to. No, 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 no. Ramen. If we're putting meals up to the test. Crab is my favorite food by far. But it's been some time since I had any. Humans are so uncreative. <sighs> and by that, I mean I'll die if I eat another apple. Do not feed me an apple, do you understand? Fine, I'll eat it. Got it. Wait, why am I playing alone? There's something more important I should tell him. You asked me to prepare some food, but... Do tell me. But what? I feel like you shouldn't know that I'm not a pretty, very good cook. Ah, uh, yeah, people who know me, they know what happened last week. <laughs> Weirdly enough, maybe Haka, the uh, one this demon looks like, had enjoyed cooking the most? Then you'll be best to learn. In one sitting? Your pathetic, your pathetic mortal struggles do not interest me. I just want to feast, human. It's been years since I've been summoned, and my physical manifestation is hungry. Okay, as long as you're not going to be too hard on me for anything. <laughs> <laughs> Fearful of, of your own incompetence? <sighs> Fine. If I find myself fond of the taste, then I'll not complain. I remember your cursed meal. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And also the, the 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 fried rice with the 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 quote unquote butter rice. It was the saddest meal I ever ate ever eaten in my whole life. I hate that. There's a kitchen attached to this living room. I've used my magic so that the stove there should work. <laughs> that is all. You may go. Looks like I'm being sent away. I take the ingredients back with me, and I hope that I can remember how to make food. 
The kitchen is dark and signs of neglect shows on the surface of this supplies all. Damn, Haka, you live like this? Dust, cobwebs everywhere. Is this space really okay for preparing anything? I checked the stove and surely enough the gas sparks and ignites fire. Looks like the cars didn't even have met what he said. Before cooking anything, it takes some cleaning and washing before things seem safe to use. Eventually, once it's all acceptable and sanitary... <gasps> then I return to the kitchen and I think of what to make the cars of demon. Ah, uh, the answer is pretty obvious. He likes strawberry, right? Salisbury? No. Wait, can we even make cake? Grilled cheese sandwich. I know Haka mentions a lot of strawberries, so I assume he likes it. Let's try it. Haka had liked strawberries, and I have some here in my stash of ingredients. And there are plenty of members in the guild with the fondness of sweets, so if it's not unlikely that even the Karasu demon might have a soft spot for desserts. How about making making him some strawberry cake? Even if it sucks, it'll at least like be cute enough to hopefully invoke a sense of pity. Strawberry cake it is. I prepare it one bit at a time. Let me cook. And just like that, I manage. Looks pretty good, actually. I might have discovered baking as a hidden talent. It's a bit sad that I have no way of photographing this cake before he eats it. But at least I'm confident now that there's no way he'll hate it. It's a perfect specimen of a cake. I carefully collect the cake and bring it out to the living room for the cars of demon. Ta-da! Look at what I brought you! Oh? Well, it looks the way it should. The cars of demon carefully angles his head as he observes the cake. However, try as he might, he'll never find a flaw. Frankly, I deserve a trophy or a blue ribbon or something for making him such a beautiful strawberry cake. We'll see. Is he determined not to like it? Oh, by the way, sorry. Do I read too fast for you guys? <laughs> I just felt like I, I, I've, I've clicking, I'm clicking a lot. I don't know. <laughs> this is Master Chef Limo. It is. I see him wield his fork and turn it to the side so the edge can slice off a bite-sized piece. He places a bite of a cake in his mouth and then swallows. Okay. Let me guess, the inside isn't very good. Did you... like it? Hmm. He takes another bite, as if the first one had been enough to decide- Oh, that's a good sign! Still no answer. <laughs> he just keeps eating and eating. I think it's safe to say he likes it, this offering. Before long, he's eaten the entire cake by himself! Oh my god, that's a, what an appetite. Without even extending an invitation to share. Oh well, we're gonna die for starvation. Hmm. He drops his fork on his empty plate. It wasn't terrible. Congratulations. Woohoo! A victory for me! But I'm still hungry. Still hungry after eating an entire cake by himself? And why is he such a hurry to make sure I don't stay happy? There aren't enough ingredients left for me to make another whole cake. Then make something else. I'm still hungry, I said. Yeesh. I collect the empty plate. Oh, uh, why? It's Salisbury this time. I can't go wrong with my own favorite food, can I? Salisbury stick steak, here we go. It takes me a bit to figure out where to start. Reverse engineering the res recipe, I'll need to make some patties, gravy, and mash mashed potatoes. Okay, I got this. It'll be okay, surely. Well, here goes nothing. Sometime later, I pulled together an attempt at Salisbury stick. Oh my god, um, this doesn't sound good. The patties are overcooked and probably dry, but it's fine. That's what the gravy is for. At least I'm not undercooking the meat and giving people salmonella like the killed the kill the gladiator, right? Oh, <laughs> I remember. 
for the burger. It's it's the burger. <laughs> oh, that shit sorrow. <laughs> After trying to convince myself that I did an ac acceptable job, I bring the meal out to the table in the living room. Slow as always, I see human. Without responding, I place, place the Salisbury steak in front of him on the table. But he looks unimpressed. Majorly so. Oh, oh. Hey, what the heck? I worked so hard on these. He could at least pretend to be a little grateful or appreciative. This is my favorite meal. I, I tell him this is an attempt to defend of my decision. With a sigh, he prods at one of the patties with the prongs of the fork I brought him. The patties betray me in an instant. Guess I hadn't used enough breadcrumbs or egg or something because they crumble with little crusty meat bits under pressure. And he looks at me. He just looks at me. You can't dismiss it so easily, it might taste good. I insist. Hmm. Hearing me out for a change, the Carso Demon takes a couple of bites, smearing the broken patties around with gravy. See how it's not, it's not that difficult, you know? You just need to be freaking grateful. He chews. Good. I just want this to work. What's this? It's terrible. I don't taste anything. Do tell me. Did you even attempt to season? Come to think of it. I forgot that part. She's me for real, for real. Hey, yo, am I actually in the game or something? Don't ask me how. I'll try something else. Give me a second. I collect the failed dish. Alright, grilled cheese sandwich. Here we go. Simple as best. After all, it's hard to screw up grilled cheese sandwich. It won't take me long to get it to him either. I set aside the ingredients needed and start up the stove. In a little time at all, the sandwiches are ready. I used a little too much butter on the bread, so maybe his hands will get oily. But then again, when is there ever too much butter? They're messy, but isn't that the point? Actually, you know what? Hmm. I'll eat this once and make him another set. Uh-oh. Um. Do tell me. Did you eat my food? How is it that I immediately caught the moment I came out of the room? Uh You're a slave to your appetite and you disgust me. Anyway, let me have it. Put the plate down. Obediently, I lower the plate in front of the car as a demon. He leans forward to look over it, sniffing on at the bread. I stay quiet all the while holding my bread. What will happen to me if he doesn't like it? Cut it. Huh? Cut this offering into pieces. <sighs> It's too messy and I don't want it other by talents. Oh wow, what a diva. I slide the plate closer to myself and cut the sandwiches into bite-sized pieces for him. He watches me suspiciously as if he thinks that I might steal his food. That's fair enough. I kind of already did. Once the sandwich has been cut, he straightens in his seat and samples the sandwich with a fork. What's this? This is what you stole from me? Uh oh. He doesn't sound happy. It's a popular snack food. You really don't like it? It's befitting for someone as slowly as yourself. But to my exquisite palate, hmm. it's simply not enough. This shouldn't qualify as a meal. Why does he hate it so much? It's not even bad. He's just weirdly... It's just a weird grilled cheese sandwich hater. Take it. I'll eat it in front of him then. Hmm. I don't care what some snooty demon thinks about the grilled cheese sandwiches. Good food is good food. I take the plate away. Do tell me. There's nothing left, is there? There are still some supplies left. Hmm. You disappoint me. What? How? Had he or had he not devoured my entire cake by himself? Your offerings are not good enough for me. And yet you've dared summon me? Should make you free for it. You ate my cake! How can you say that I disappointed you? You offended me when you brought the other two out. Huh? Did I not tell you that I was still hungry and that I had every intention of feasting? 
Since when does this duration become about pleasing you? <laughs> <laughs> this ungrateful bitch of all. <laughs> yeah. You can't be serious. I am serious. Why do you think you can boss me around like a servant or something? Huh? Because you're a lower being, human. It is a natural order of things for you to worship me. I have been patient enough towards your insolence. The demon rises from his chair and his wings speed down the ones around here. The gust of air sends the remaining dishes flying from the table. Hey, yo, I gotta clean that later. Then he does it again. The second gust is much more powerful and it sends me flying back until I hit the wall behind me. Oof. Ow. Mm. I slide down the wall until I'm done on the tatami. Hakka's doppelganger comes closer to me. Do tell me. Did you ever think how to know your place? Of course, appeasing me should be your utmost priority. <laughs> because you summoned me here. Oh, is this where the the cannibalism part starts? Is this is this it? Or is it the other? Oh. Uh he sweeps a leg out and kicks me in the face with the shoe. Oh never mind, he beats me up instead. I see stars when it makes contact and stays there. <laughs> Do tell me. Do you understand now? I don't care about that. What I'm saying is this what I'm saying might very well land me in the further trouble with him. But I can't allow him to keep looking down the humans. It doesn't matter because I deserve respect just as much as you do. Hmm. <laughs> the car even digs his shoe up deeper into the side of my face. Ow! My face! He lures me down before he kicks it again to shove himself away. There's a skull stuck on his face. I know I'm setting myself for, up for disaster, but I can't back down now. Not like this. <laughs> Very well then. In that case, allow me to show your place in this world. The car suit even reaches for my hair and sinks his claws into my scalp. Then when he looks- Oh my god, that hurts. I squeak in pain as he breaks my skin and blood drips. Oh my god. He's gonna kill me for real, for real. I scrum under his grasp before he throws me back. On the ground with another sadistic laugh. <laughs> Human. Beg me for forgiveness and I'll reconsider your punishment. <laughs> I'm too disoriented to respond. I sit up from where I've been flung outside and slowly try to recollect myself. <laughs> uh. Did something happen? Everything probably goes still. Okay. <laughs> I look up and see that he, the car's demon is licking the blood from his nails. He's doing that and then... Oh, here we go. Delicious. What? <laughs> I found it. I finally found it! You are useful to me after all. Oh, so here it is. You're so delicious. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't think of this before. As he claws past my skin and shoes on whatever he can t rake up under it, I don't feel any pain. Why? Is it just so painful that I don't feel anything anymore? The body is a strange thing. I watch as a car the demon helps himself to my innards, pulling my organs out from beneath my ribs like I'm a piñata full of candy. Favorite CG. There's too much things going on, honestly. My blood stains his teeth. He gets a little stringy pieces of meat, calling them every now and then. I can actually imagine this, and I'm, I don't know. Do I want to feel creep out, or do I want to, like, okay? I don't know. Close my eyes when I see him start slurping another piece of me. Maybe that's my liver? A kidney or something? I don't... know. I just... Ugh. My new favorite food. <laughs> I'm going to eat the entire village. I'm going to feast. Uh. What if I summon into this world? And I died. Shinda! Hmm. 
Mmm, tasty. Clear cards to demons route. You have acquired two keys. Yosh, two diamond keys. Two keys. Still no thank you. Hmm. What a grateful bastard. <laughs> okay, let's see. Kagasu Demon. Banzo and Haka's doppelganger. Spirit Realm, other Zinokuni. Likes having his hair played with. Ornate trinkets. Crystals, flowers. Dislikes when food gets trapped under his nails. Being wet, stuffy clothing, ugliness. Favorite, favorite food? Crap, human meat. The prideful Karasu demon of a legend was once revered by a long-standing cult of worshippers located deep in the forest of the other city no Kuni. He can be he only can be he can only be summoned when bestowed an offering of blood at his shrine, and while powerful enough to manifest someone's darkest desire, he is recorded in myth as one of the most volatile and demanding demons of all cultures. There are many accounts of encounters with him growing sour, as well as Wolf tales where desperate humans met their own demise by his hand after he deemed their desires unworthy. Because the Karasu demon is rarely summoned to the physical realm, when he is, he is often extremely hungry after long periods of dormancy. Having existed for centuries, he has consumed all sorts of offerings which have made his palate and expectations all the more difficult to satisfy. However, thanks to the player's inability to please him, the Karasu demon would come to be addicted to taste to a taste he had yet thought of trying until then, the rich flavor of human flesh. So that's where the cannibalism goes to. God damn it, Haka. Hold on, let me save. I can't save. Uh. Okay. Um. All right. Let Let's. Uh, uh. The CG. Do I want to see that again? Because that's pretty bloody, and uh, YouTube might get at me for it. I don't know. Okay, we cleared we cleared Exalt Prince and then we cleared Karsa Demon. Who should go next? I guess I want to do um Flayon or Battle. Dochi ga e. Flayon's pretty on there. I I don't know what to expect from Showman. I don't know how to expect from Battle. Honestly, I don't know. With with Fleon and Altair and maybe Shinri, I, I can't already tell. With Haka and Bello, it's like, okay. Well, what's gonna happen? Yeah, let's do Fleon first. It's raining. Showman is... Safe though. Really? Oh yeah, by the way, let me save this. Rain slips through the green foliage above me. It falls and patters against my skin and hair. As my clothing starts clinging to me, the air around is rich with the smell of wet leaves. It's not bad. Strange. I can't recall what happened between me when I stepped through the door and now. But perhaps I shouldn't be surprised. Of course, the way back to Tempest Guild Hall will be as easy as going through the right door. Huh. There's no point in sulking. I may as well try my best to figure out where I turn up. I don't know if it's forced or at least... Then again, I know a lot of fours. I've never been good with distinguishing one from another. All trees look the same to me after a while. If only our Machina explain on. The guild's pilot always seemed able to memorize landmarks without trying. He rarely needed to check his map after an initial expedition. And I always reach out to him when I find myself lost somewhere. Oh, there's an idea. I think to check my communication device and contact him. Come on, Flayon, pick it up! Drat. Failed signal. You've got to be kidding me. I give it another try. Oh, failed the signal again? Oh. I hear something or someone approaching, but have no weapon. Turning to face the source, I rest my fists in case I need them. Yeah, I'm ready to throw hands. Oh, never mind. But when I do, I see someone familiar. Wet hair dripping and close to his face. Flayon seems to have found me here in the woods. I see. It's you. Where did you go for so long? I waited here for years and years. I thought that 
Maybe you wouldn't come back for me. But it's really you. How beautiful. I'm so happy I could die, Master. You waited for years and years? How long have you been by yourself? I don't think I'm the person he means by his master, but I still need to try and figure out more about where I am. Anything helps. I lost count. <laughs> you left me there for long, long time ago so I can remember. Sorry, but there's no way. Flyon's look like seems unhappy with my denial. He won't let me have this. He stares me as if I'm lying to him. Fine. What makes you sure it was me? Your name is Mars. Oh. So I was right. It, it could still be a kind of coincidence. I refuse to believe I would do something so cruel. I would never have mended anyone in woods like this for so who knows how long. I don't blame you for what you did, Master. <laughs> After all, you're the reason I exist. There's such familiarity and weight to what he says. He believes to the to the bottom of this core that I am his master. But what does he m even mean by that? I only feel more confused than I did before. Flayon? Flayon, is that you? If this is Flayon, something is very wrong with him. Huh. The smile on his face dims. It's at this moment that perhaps both of us realize that we've been mistaken. That has to be the reason. The disappointment showing on his face. No. Okay. Flan is... I see him hesitate. Flan's name means something to him, but I don't understand it. Axe? <laughs> is that Axe? Is that why? <laughs> If you know, you know. <laughs> Flan is dead, master. You yelled at me. You said that I won't call me by his name anymore. Because it hurts when you do. It breaks your heart, remember? And you having a heart is what makes you human. You said that you were different from me because I can't understand your pain. That's what you told me. I did? What the hell is he even talking about? There's no way I could just forget Flynn dying. It's impossible. Right? <laughs> Does calling me Flayon again meant that your heart is fixed now? That must be why you came back. No. <sighs> You're not Flayon. I'm sure about this part. You have the wrong person. I'm sorry, there's just no way. But you created me. Really? Did you really forget? There are reasons beyond simply forgetting and that makes his claims impossible. That's just a thing. There's no way I could have created you either. <laughs> I should watch my words. According to him, he and his master had approached this subject in the past. There definitely seems to be an underlying complex. I hear his joints make a rickety sound when he shifts his stance across from me. This person is not human. He's completely mechanical. I just don't have those sort of skills. No reply. As I wait for one, I realize that the rain has slowed to a stop. The automaton still stares at me as if I've broken something in him. With nothing left to say, I give an awkward nod and try to find some good timing to make an ex exit. Good luck finding Mars, okay? I meant it. I avoid meeting his gaze as I turn to leave. He's gonna chase me. <laughs> He's absolutely gonna chase me. In the very same moment, the automaton suddenly breaks the quiet. No. You can't. Whoa, 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 what happened? No! Don't leave me anymore! The shouting, sh the shouting shoots fear through me, and before I knew it, I'm running from the forest without thinking, without looking back. His voice falls further and further away, but I can still hear his mechanical legs creaking and grinding as he tries chasing me. Don't go! 
I need you to stay with me. Forever. You promised me. I run until I don't hear him anymore and eventually come to the edge of the forest. Hi, Bajisa. I'm playing a visual novel. Though I seem to have lost him, it's still difficult for me to not feel uneasy. The automaton may not be human, but he still sounds like it. No, I can't think about that anymore. I can't afford to feel guilty about something I didn't do. My eyes search the clearing for any signs of shelter. In the far distance, I can see a greenhouse and a small chitu. Sh sh how do I read that? Sh 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 Let me look it up. Let me look it up. How do I read that word? I never... What does that even mean? Hold on. Chateau. Sh chateau. Okay. It meant... It's like a castle. I see. Now hold on. Where should I go from here, I wonder? Nah. <laughs> We're not going there. Return to the forest? Maybe I was too hard on him. Oh no, wait. Hesitation, return to the forest. He seemed very desperate back there. Then again, he said he needed me to stay with him forever. And that's something I simply can't do for him. I see, I see. I've got to get back to Guildhall. Where should I go from here, I wonder? Where it does not Oh wait. Oh. Sneaking to the greenhouse? As a chateau's uh owner for information. Maybe you sneak. Oh can we ask? Asking the chateau's owner for information seems like a good idea. Once I know more about where I am, I should have a better understanding of how to get back home. <coughs> I sneeze. In the moment that follows, I realize that I may be getting sick from the rain earlier. Serves me right, I guess. The timing couldn't be worse. I feel chills beginning to develop, but I can't afford for that to slow me down. I should be on my way. Without looking back, I trudge to the chateau in search for some answers. Oh. Um. What was that? <laughs> When I finally reach the though, I find that the door's unlocked. Hello? I try calling into the foyer, but nobody seems to be home. I take a nervous step inside, lingering near the door. Anybody here? It's all I can It's all I It's as I call it again that my elbow sweeps a crumpled note from its place on the side table by the door. <sighs> Why am I so clumsy? I crouch to return it to where it's been and see. I'm going home. Don't follow me. From Mars. What did you do? This is my own handwriting. Does that mean the automaton's creator is actually... Oh! I feel like I'm going to be sick. Um, oh no, <laughs> uh, um, hi! Help me out! Play! <laughs> of course you would come home. I know you better than anyone else. Home? I'm so lightheaded. I close my eyes to keep my surroundings from spinning. The automaton moves closer to me. Um. Hi. This is your home. When I awaken, 
I find myself in a room that I don't recognize. Somehow, I'm in a pair of cotton pajamas that fit me perfectly. Hey, yo, Flayon, did you change my clothes without permission? Hey, 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 hey. I don't know how did you do it, but yeah. Just leave me wet <laughs> and dying. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, you're sleeping for a while. I don't know how. I don't know if I can do Flayon's voice. Like, like at least like his impression because his song, his voice kind of sounds bready, but I can't. I can't really exactly do like what he usually does. He's a professional voice actor. You know what? I I can't. I can't do. I can't do that for. Okay, let me drink again though. All right, Axel, I'll go back to my lab. I need you for emotional support because I am scared of whatever's coming here. Yeah, yeah. Stay by myself, okay? Seems I can't escape the uh, the the automaton. Do you remember your home yet, Master? Don't call me that. Just Mars is fine. Anyway, I'm still confused. You carried me back here after I fainted. Where did the pajamas come from? These are your pajamas, Mars. You pushed yourself outside in the rain, and when you came home, you collapsed. So, of course, I changed your clothes for you and put you in bed. His face lights up with affection and pride. But I just feel violated. I absolutely am. I, I absolutely felt violated by that. No. <laughs> Hey yo, hey yo indeed. Does he think I'm going to thank him for that? Don't smile like that. You should have woken me up. I tried, you know, but you didn't wake up. I couldn't leave you there on the ground, wet and sick. You're never happy with me lately. Not even then. Not then, and not now. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I watch him for a long moment, lacking any words that might comfort him. There's a flat silence in the air before I break it with a sudden sneeze. Hitchie! <laughs> my whole body is fed up with me, and my stomach grows just shortly after sneezing. The automaton laughs silently. I mean, he got a point. True? <laughs> See? Still sick. I should make you food. What do you want to eat? When had I last eaten food? The idea of a cone cooked meal is appetizing, but I can't trust this automaton. He's too baddie. What if he tries sneaking something to the food? Sneeze does kind of Oi! <laughs> what do you what what's with people saying Tascada to my voice lately? My god. Why feed me? I still don't trust you. Are you good at cooking? Why feed me? It's not like you owe me anything. You said that I'm never happy with you lately, right? It's my purpose. I exist to help you. Whether you're upset with me or not, it doesn't matter. I was me to support you and provide the companionship. Oh, okay. Anyway, I'll see how you resist one of your favorite meals. Wait! Before I can protest, the tomato leaves for the kitchen. Looks like there's no stopping him. Without realizing, I fall asleep again. More sleep seems to have helped re recuperate my strength. By the way, hi, hi, Baron. <laughs> After awakening the second time, I follow an appetizing smell to the dining quarters and see that a meal has been set up for me uh, for me on the table. It's a hearty-looking Salisbury steak. <gasps> It's you. It's it's Game Mars favorite food. Oh, yep. It's your favorite. As I stare at it, I consider that maybe the automata really actually has met some version of me. This place might still be a parallel world or something, right? It would make more sense to why I wouldn't remember things or why everything's so different. I thought you might wake up soon. Are you feeling better? A little bit. That's good, isn't it? I know that it won't have it any earlier, but what about now? I 
I'm scared. <laughs> I'm kind of scared. Dude, what do I do? I'm the, I'm the, I'm kind of scared. Um, I'll just accept it. My stomach grows again. I can't find it forever. As I watch the automaton carefully from across the room, I decide to trust him and re reluctantly lower into my seat. He hurries to stand beside me. By the way, can I quickly ask, like, is there only like one specific ending, or, um, like, is there like actually like, just one ending to each character? Because I felt like there's more options, or is it just gonna be? I think like. I, I think like I 100% Axel's because I chose every possible like routes, right? And if they fail, they'll just go back to like choosing things again. But with the other characters, I'm not so sure, sure. Honestly. He hurries to stand beside me. You need a drink with it. Right? Milk? Juice? Every route only has one ending. Okay, good then. Good to know. Milk is fine. Okay. After automaton provides just about everything I could ever need, I help myself to his cooking. It's delicious. So delicious, in fact, that I practically wove it down without hardly chewing. It earns me some soft laughter from him. If the food is poisoned and I die after this, at least it tastes good. That's the dry humor, humor that crossed my mind upon finishing. You ate it so quickly! It was nice. I wipe my mouth with one of the napkins I've, I've forgotten to put him on my lap. <laughs> Do you want more? I can make more for you if you want. Normally, I would be all down to pick out, but my nerves have been so fried from stress that my appetite is smaller than it should be. I feel uncomfortably full. I definitely ate too quickly. Uh, this was plenty. Thanks. The automaton seems happy with my answer, and he lowers himself into the chair besides me. <sighs> You're so stubborn. I'm happy to help, you know? I'm thankful for that. I should head back soon. Now that I'm out of the woods, maybe my communicator has a better chance of reaching the Gale Tempest. Felt signal. Don't leave. Are you still trying to go home? The automaton fidgets restlessly. No, I can still make a connection. No! Look at me when I'm talking to you! It certainly gets my attention. Yeah, it certainly did. As I look up from my communication device, the automaton's eyes are white and trembling. His expression is difficult to read. There's no point. I see. It doesn't matter what I do. <laughs> I just want things to go back to how they were, don't you? Even though I'm right here and ready to give you everything. Huh? What's so great about being a human? Is having a heart really so amazing? The automaton is looking at me, but I don't feel seen. His rage is on the pre precipice of an explosion. I have to calm him down before that happens. Listen. But I'm too late. From a pocket in his coat, there are pliers in his hand. In one motion, said pliers are clamped onto my- Oh my god, that- <laughs> Hey yo! I start to bleed. No. Okay. The pressure sinks down harder. Metal pinches me tightly. <laughs> Everything is numb now from the adrenaline. <laughs> okay. Did he just cut my tongue? Did he just cut my tongue off, didn't he? Oh, never mind. He just like... He just wounded it. The automaton retract his hands. Pliers still in them. From then, he drops the piece of my tongue. He tore it off to the ground. Oh my god, okay. I actually tried my cousin. Don't I? <laughs> I brought this from the greenhouse earlier. I had a feeling somehow that I would need them. Blood fills my mouth and my eyes well with tears. 
I watch the automaton in horror as he opens and closes the pliers flippantly, as if they're a child's toy. Don't leave. I'm not good enough for you because I'm not human. Go on. You can say it. Or maybe you can't now. I'm not good enough for you because we're so different! Because I don't have a heart! <laughs> With the player shut in his fist, he laughs at me before plunging deep into my chest. Oh. I scream as loud as I can. The automaton fails to react. He keeps muttering to himself. I can't feel everything that has been happening so far. We with Haka, I I can't literally feel like I am in in that situation. Man, <laughs> this game. But just think, what if neither of us have hearts? <laughs> would that make us perfect for each other? You would finally stop hurting. You would stop thinking about how I'm not Flayon, and I. Finally stop comparing myself to humans. He cranks the flyers back apart and spreads the wound he's inflicted. My bu my blood bubbles up through the gaping hole. And I'm dead. <laughs> oh never mind. I'm going to die soon. Not not already. There's no way I'm going to live through this. Shh. He coos me as I dry sob. Just be still, okay? It'll all be over soon. His players stick further into me and his other hand is placed on my cheek. His thumb wipes my tears away so gently. I only manage to weak cast. The tongues of his pliers twist and puncture anything they can. My sight starts fading. Don't worry. <laughs> Without this stupid heart of yours ruining you anymore, you'll be just like me. You'll finally know how I feel. That's why you'll forgive me if I stop it, right? He takes a hold of my beating heart in his flyers and bursts a hole in it. Because even even if you don't know me any better, you're mine. I can't make you happier than anyone else. Yeah, laugh. Laugh now. Don't leave. Wait. No. Don't go. No! Don't go, I said. Stay with me forever! <laughs> you promised you would! Man, I appreciate Flayon's voice acting. You did that to yourself, man. Not me. I I'm, I'm just dead. Never speak again. I have acquired three keys. This dude is taking hearts, literally. You killed us, remember? Yep. <laughs> yeah, yandere de! Yandere, yandere. Okay, gallery... Okay, you guys want to see Hakas? Here's Hakas. And then Flayons. That this art the art looks so good. I think I think this and Axels and then and then Battles is was done by Crown, right? So it looks good. Oh, there's six and then there's one more. I see. Eh, interesting, interesting. Now we can check uh, Flayons. Makina X Flayons Doppelganger. Doppelganger. What? Makina X Flayons Doppelganger. Doppelganger. Wait, what? Doppelgangers. Doppelganger. Oh! Oh, okay, I understand. Because, like, the Fleon in the other Elysian died, and then uh, apparently we made him. So he's another doppelganger, technically. Okay, okay, understandable. I thought he was like a, a variant of X, but I guess that's too early for the Lord during this time. Alright. Likes being together with his master, watching people cry, rain, running errands. Just like secrets, animals, sharing with others. Over overheating. Um, secrets and sharing with others. Those two uh, contradict each other. Summary: Modeled after an old friend whose life has met its, its end. 
the abandoned automaton has created for the sole purpose of providing emotional support and companionship for his creator. The player's doppelganger. After some time, however, the automaton's needy demeanor and lack of patience towards his master creator's grief drove a deep wedge between them, which led his creator to abandon him. Locals say that the player's doppelganger has mysteriously disappeared after they sought endlessly for a way to undo the past. Left on his own without a purpose, the automaton would wait dutifully in the woods for his creator's return, only to be met by the real player years later. After projecting all of his unresolved feelings towards his creator onto the real player instead, the automaton would demand that they spend some time, they spend the rest of an eternity together, as his creator had originally promised him a promise of a promise after all. Okay. Play on two. Hmm. Okay. Um. Who should be next? I guess uh, we don't we all need we don't have that much characters left, so let's go with battle, and then we'll do Altair, and then we'll do Shinri. Uh, skip. We cleared Flayon, we cleared Axel, Aniki, we cleared Haka, and there's only three left. We're already like halfway. Let's do Showman. Of course, it's a mess. You! Everything ready for tonight's set? It's ready. <laughs> Great, you finally make yourself useful. We'll be on adoption. We'll be, we'll be on in about 15, so you better get backstage before then. Don't you have another st Don't you have other stage hands? <laughs> we wouldn't be in this predicament if I did now, wouldn't we? But you claim to be the best showman in all of um, this place. Elysium, well, Skeleton Country is east side Elysium anyway. This isn't Elysium. Elysium is where the real Tempest Guild members are, and no place called Skeleton Country has ever existed. I know this is a fact, but it's not worth arguing about. Hmm. Hello? We have a show to do. I'm sorry, I know, I just... Really thought you would have other people helping. Hmm. I mean, I used to, but none of them could keep up. Keep up? See the skeletons littered around the room? That'd be the first thing I noticed. The showman noticed I'm watching him. After making his way to one of the femurs on the ground, he gives it a hard sweep with the edge of his boot. The bone goes airborne in the same motion, clacking noisily against the dressing room room wall upon impact. I feel gross watching him. Hard not to. <laughs> Those are the guys that couldn't do their job. So you best not test me and win up one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I love his voice acting. His laugh comes so naturally at the suggestion of murder. As I watch his shoulders shake, I feel as though I'm suddenly watching our interaction from outside of my own body. Might not have been right. Those bones aren't props at all. They really used to belong to somebody. You said when we first met that all the people in this area are skeletons. Um. And skeleton country. Nice to know your ears work. So skeletons can die? It doesn't make sense. Nothing here does. It shouldn't surprise me at this point. We're all just skeletons. You're a skeleton too. The statement is just about as helpful as I anticipated for him. The showman waves his hand flippantly. It's clear to me that I'm absolutely dispensable in his eyes. Guess I'll just another sack of bones. My life is a joke to him. To me as well. Don't make brain dead faces like that. People will know you don't know how what they're doing. Hear me? We got a stage waiting for us. Okay. Could you tell me what I have to do for the show again? I see his expression flatten. Seems like he isn't too pleased, I ask. How many times do we... Have we... How many times now we have gone through over this? I think I overheard you going over it with someone else before, but this is the first time for me. <laughs> well, you mean that wasn't you? You mean that wasn't you this morning? Guess he... Th Does he not distinguish one person from another when he's talking to them? No, it was... um. 
person named Jimmy. Hmm. Jimmy? Usually gets very still at the mention of the name. It's unsettling. Then again. Hand in the real battle ha had a situation with someone whose name started with a J before. Yep. Rip Jerry. He deserves justice. He died on the first day of his job. I think I remember something happening back during his first match jokes. Whatever is going on now seems like something karmic at this point. Listen, your job is to go out there in a fluffy little costume and two step. Okay. Uh huh. Nice legs, by the way. Nothing fancy, it's just a 1 2 and a 1 2. It's simple enough choreography. Either it's simple or the showman makes it look so. Got that? You need me to do it again? Just smile to that and we're gold. I think I can handle it. <sighs> then hurry, let's get on the stage! Obi. Uh, to the stage. Okay. It's about time for a show, whether I like it or not. I imagine this is idol stab. <laughs> oh, it, do it does like felt like idol stabs. I don't want to end up like those broken skeletons in the dressing room. After tugging on the ends of the close costume gloves that I've been forced to wear, I reluctantly follow the showman to the stage. Is there even actual people watching or is it just like skeletons? Ladies and gentlemen, he should have voiced this. Boys and girls, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. It's me. Wait, he's already started? I'm not even on stage yet. I practically hurry to the wings. I try joining Battle's Doppelganger on the stage and find. Of course. That there's nobody in the audience. No surprise. The showman has his arms splayed out wide and his head is lifted high, but there's not a single person here. Nobody has come to see his performance. I see some panic flash in his eyes before he cuts the painful silence. Crap, 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 crap. Why? His voice cracks with frustration and his stomach is healed once like a child throwing a tantrum. His fingers clutch the ridges of his top hat. It was tonight, wasn't it? Wow, so I learned those dance moves for nothing. From the spot, Johnny Potter. <laughs> yes, it was. April 16, 20... Hey, yo. Wait, that's my actual time right now. That I, That's actual day and time. Okay. They pulled the DLC on this. Was there anything else going on in the skeleton country today? <laughs> and they have that said, this is just normal Tuesday for him. Don't worry. It's just a normal Tuesday for him and the, and the battalion. Anything else? Don't be stupid. My show is the most important thing there is for anyone living here. <laughs> and they'll know what happened to them if they skipped. I remember the skulls and bones littered around the dressing room. In any case, I should try calming him down. Where I came from, people have other obligations. Aren't your expectations unreasonable? <laughs> I don't remember asking. He's so self-absorbed. It look, looks like I'm not being hurt. I mean, if you don't want to listen to me, there's not much more on it, I can say. Stay mad, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I thought for sure there were at least three other skeletons still around to come. Three is not a big number. <laughs> well, that's all that's left. Is there a skeleton bird rate problem or something? I'm still new here, so it's not like I know. It's not a bird rate problem. There are plenty of skeletons living here before. But now there aren't any. Take it from me. The ones that aren't here anymore weren't worth having around anyway. I don't think that's something you can just decide. Look, they had a chance and they blew it. Just believe me. The dwindling skeleton population. Is it this guy's fault? But what you said before, didn't you say that we're all skeletons? And... But you're not a skeleton. You're the only one here with skin, hair, muscles besides me, that is... And... Having those things doesn't make me not a skeleton, and I'm only this way because... 
Actually, you know what? It's none of your business. We got I got a show to do. We don't have an audience. We don't get it. There'll be a show. There has to be a show. Because I have to do a show. And yeah, I like the way he do does it. Demanding it as such, he raises his voice loud enough for it to re reverberate against the empty seats. His eyes jerk about the stage in an erratic way. I don't really understand where he's coming from, but some part of him seems afraid. Why would he be so stubborn about performing, even if no one's come out to see? <sighs> Get it front row. What? Uh, battle? Battle? Uh, that creeped me out just now. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm gonna sit down. Just, just don't do that again, okay? Okay. Maybe this is the life I'm doomed to lead now. One where I just submissively do whatever this crazy guy tells me to. As I take a seat in the front in the front row, I can't help but be reminded of Battle's rehearsal reha rehearsals back in the Tempest Guild Hall. Those times had been much more two-way street than this. Battle had always understood the importance of keeping his audience happy. And even though the showman guy just look at, looks just like him. Their motives for being on stage couldn't be any more different. Ta-da! Wow, a crowd of one today! You really came out all this way to see me? I'm snapped away from my tops by a blinding spotlight that finds its way to me. Oh my god, that's bright! Squinting through it, I still can't see anything. Only those rainbow swirls you sometimes see when you shut your eyelids while dizzy. Yeah, sure did! Oh yeah? And what's your name, traveler? Oh, I realized you never asked until now. It's Mars. Oh yeah? Crazy stuff, Mars. Where did you come from? My eyes are adjusting to the light. I don't have to squint so much. Uh, the real Elysium. I'm a member of Guild Tempest. I am? <laughs> Even from down in the audience, I search for the showman for any semblance of recognition. Like, maybe some of Bellows is trapped in there somewhere. I'm not mad with any success, though. He laughs at my answer off as if he hardly heard of it all. <laughs> <laughs> Hear that? Mars says there's a guild called Tempest in Elysium. Where the laugh track came from? It's on the summary, though. It, it is. I turn in my chair to check, but the hall is still as empty as it was. How about this? Anyway, how about I do a little dance? Pink smoke bursts from the ground, and the showman is suddenly wearing tap toes. He begins to shuffle. He builds a quick rhythm, feet scuffing against the stage with the finesse of someone who's taken lessons their entire life. I hate to admit it, but it's not bad. I don't think there's even the real Gavis Bella can tap dance. Uh, I feel bad for him, so let's just cheer. The third song part. Let's go. Yeah! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> I'm not about to be a bad sport about this. The guy is talented. Ta -da! The showman seems to be the like by response. He does a twirl. How about this? Anyway, how do I do a little tons? Okay. Boo. An impulsive and sadistic urge to boo him rises from me. Maybe out of my baser instincts. It's not too bad my tomato. It's too bad my tomatoes aren't here with me. Woo! I give him an aggressive thumbs down and I see his smile crack beneath the pressure. Even more motivated to impress me, he doesn't give up. How about this? Alright. Stay silent. Tomatoes! Yeah. As I studied, I realized that something's missing from this performance. I don't do anything, I just stare. The sound of his tap shoes gets faster and faster. He's doing all sorts of stunts, handstands and flips, but I just don't care. This performance doesn't make me feel anything. <laughs> Enough of that, yeah? There it is, that scared sound in his voice again. Is he okay? In the blink of an eye, his tap shoes disappear in another puff of smoke until he's back in his regular shoes. How about this? Knock knock! I remember that I'm the only one person, person in the audience. Who's there? I'm Justin. You're Justin who? I'm Justin, you're bathed up naked, so don't call the cops!
<laughs> the showman watches me stretching the beat and waiting for me to digest his punchline, but I never do. I'm tired and I wanted to go home. It's not funny. <laughs> that one wasn't funny, huh? Yeah, I didn't think so either. He la he laughs to fill the space. I don't budge. Come with the ball. You're like this neck. This one, I swear. How about this? Watch me swallow this whole wh walking cane. He pulls a wooden cane from the tin air, unhinges jaw and inches forward little by little. Don't respond. I watch him swallow the entire cane. My costume's getting kind of itchy, so I scratch myself. And that, I see him start to panic. He hasn't admitted it, but it seems like my reaction to this performance is more important to him than I thought. Mars. Hearing my name from him, I remember this law makes me a little nervous. I might be the only person whose name he's ever remembered. What is it? Aren't you even a little entertained? No? Everything becomes still. The showman watches me for a long time. No? Sorry, no. No? He begins trapping down the stage towards me. Please don't do that again. I'm scared. You cannot be entertained. You don't know what that means. The showman grabs my face and shak shakes me around like a baby, baby rattle. Doesn't mean anything if you start sorry with other people. <laughs> Are you stupid? It does. It does. My, his voice is straight. I hear something dark beginning to stir. Like the realm is beginning to split. By the way, where's Phantom? Where's Phantom's doppelganger? And uh, just as I notice it, the showman does too. <laughs> he pulls my head against his chest and begins to sob. Oh! Um... His arms are trembling around me. He's clutching for dear life. My gut drops and I know he reached a point of no return. <laughs> Hurry up, damn it! Be entertained! You're not listening, you better not be entertained or else! <laughs> ah! His fingers claw through my hair and he pulls on my ears. Oh my god, that hurts! I push him over the ground. No! When I open my eyes, I understand what he's so afraid of. Cast his skeleton hands from the shadows, rake and tear at anything they can. The showman's eyes, terrified screams, echo louder than any applause that might ever filled with this venue. His cheeks are wet with tears. Skeleton hands pull him back towards whatever black abyss they dwell in. <laughs> you idiot! This is all your fault! Any pride the showman had, had been completely thrown away. <laughs> Desperate to live, the showman throws a hand out for me, still trying to grab whatever he can. I give you a purpose, a place to be, and this is how you return the favor? How dare you! I think of how terrible he'd been to me and the others around him. How many of us have been made so miserable? This is his punishment. But still, I still can't decide how I feel. <laughs> okay, Eden Starling. <laughs> Eden. <laughs> Before I can react properly, the showman's throat gives one last wet scream. He's involved by the skeletons. They suck him back into the dark, and I'm left there alone in the audience. Surrounded by no one. With no one on the stage. I belatedly realize what happened. Um. The showman is dead. <laughs> now this is entertainment! This is entertainment? I'm entertained? I was like, okay, uh, we're alive at least, but I guess we got insane. Well, we just watch a man die and then we just laugh at it. Sure, we acquired four keys at least. Ah, battle, 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 my man, battle. I love him. He's funny. He's cool. He's very entertaining. Yeah, so we got like all three of crowns art. Look at that. Shut and fraud ending. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. 
だだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだ And then Flayon is just like. I don't want to say it's average, but it's 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 a you know. It's a yandere yandere ending, right? Yeah. That serve for happiness of someone's misfortune. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, profiles. Uh, showman. Gavis battle stopper ganger. Likes being in the spot, not correcting perfume, wearing costumes, telling people no refunds. <laughs> Dislikes repeating himself, cleaning method actors. Oh! Okay. Children! Receiving hugs. You, you just... You just hug me, though. Favorite food, banana pudding. Summary. The showman is a bossy and arrogant prima donna, incapable of working in others for too long. The showman's flying by in theater. Mother... Monopolize the skeleton country's business world within Iron Fist. In the past, he has attempted many times to take in protégés, stage hands, or even hang out buddies. But his self-centered nature and short temper would result in the loss of many skeleton afterlives. Eventually, this would become most of skeleton's country's population. There are hardly any residents left in the skeleton country, but this showman forces the declining skeleton population into attending his daily stage performance to print his ego. Or is that really the reason? Rivers would have it that the showman, once a skeleton like everyone else, is said to have a, often a cursed life as an entertainer. Having failed miserably at it in his past life as a human, despite ha always having craving the spotlight, um, making a pact with some devil gods in exchange for fame, affluence, and the human body, his pact... Um, Stage that he must entertain someone, anyone who wants every day or other ways to lose everything. Okay, that's where Phantom is. He's the he's the god. Okay, we got two left. Altair and Shinri. So we're gonna visit the one and only Demon God King Regis. Let's go. Okay, I think you guys are gonna like this one. I don't know. Assuming he's the main villain, I don't know. I think Shinra is, but Altair is also an evil one. The Ice Plane of Elysium. After I pass, pass through that door of many in the dark, I wound up in the unheard land called that. I recognize no one. The villager seems kind enough to a bit hesitant to step out of the line to speak with me. I've noticed their looks though. They know I'm not from here. Three days spent here and I already heard the barkeep whispering to his regulars. It may be because of how I'm dressed. Everyone else roaming the streets is so aristocratic. Rope in furs and lace. I tried asking as many people as I can about the guild hall, but it's no use. Nobody knows what Tempest is. I seek shelter from the cold weather in an empty library at the edge of the city. Altair, the leader of Guild Tempest, has always advised me to research before digging too deep into the unknown territory. Knowing local dangers, politics, or even just the lay of the land could save your life if you're set up on the quest. <sighs> this is going to take a while. As I make my way through the ales, ales of books, Isles, I forgot how to read that. One of them stands out from the others around it. Elysium Strut, it's titled. Elysium Strut? Journey by the title inscribed on the spine, I reach for the book. Oh! And a, an elegantly dressed man brushes hands with me. Oh, is this the oomph thing? <laughs> Poison Ravine, when he looks at me as if he is gazing upon an insect. His expression is as cold as the weather outside. 
but it's a face I'm familiar with. My eyes do a double take over him. It takes a moment for me to comprehend his expression. Altair? <laughs> he takes the Elysium Street book from the shelf first. After lowering it to his side, he passes me a smile. <laughs> yes? Isn't he taller than Altair? <laughs> I feel bad. <laughs> Hold on, let me read. Um, though he watches me expertly, he I realize there's something just a little off. Is he isn't he taller than Altair? Are you really Altair? I burst out suddenly and without thinking. The stain ripples are ac across his face as if offended that I ask. But in the next blink it's gone. Hmm. <laughs> yep, it's me, Mars. How did you know my name? Actually, the boys and I were looking over for you after you disappeared. We we're worried sick. This person knows my name, knows about the guilt, and even when I went missing. Oh, I... This is scary. This is scary. Hey, yo, I like the, where this is going. He knows. He knows knows. He knows everything that Altair will. I must be overthinking it. I realize that I'm still being talked to. I figured you might be trying to pick up one of your own, but you wandered out this far. <laughs> like my Halloween costume? Maybe to ease my anxiety, Altair leaves the ends of his cape and slings it behind him in its flutters. Yeah. Um, according to the trailer, he's the one who summoned me here, right? So, yeah. Come to think of it, my last memories of the real Elysium had been around Halloween, too. It's cool. But it's hard for me to pay attention to something like that. If I'm being honest, I don't know where this place is or how I wound up here. I've never seen a place called Ice Plain on the maps in the Guild Hall. Most people haven't. Guild newbies especially don't get access to those kind of maps. After all, the ice plane is a dangerous place. It would be crazy to send any of you guys this far out. Um, you did. That makes sense. I was attacked by monsters on the way in. I managed to handle it my myself though. Must be thanks to your training. <laughs> <laughs> no way. That's all th that's all you. Don't sell yourself short. I feel less on guard. Any difference I sense must must have just been my imagination. We should get some rest before heading back to the guild hall. Yeah, if we turn in early tonight, we can leave first thing in the morning. Altera sleeps the book we've both taken interest in somewhere on this person. Is that okay? Don't underestimate the Tempest connections. I'll fill in the owner of it later. Come on, Mars. Let's go home. I am... Scared. I am very, very, very scared. <laughs> I'm happy. I, you know, I'm happy to do it. To like his uh, class. Altair and I ventured through the ice plain, Kingdom Streets. He leads the way with his usual charisma and follow without thinking. We reminisce about the other members of the guild. He even tells me funny stories, at a time about all of them, from the times even before I joined. The journey doesn't feel long, and before I knew it, we stopped in front of a castle and head of the, of the kingdom. Oh, I remember this place. Even though it's freezing out there, the gardeners managed to keep the plants green. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We move, eventually, into the castle itself. Horn guards and servants both to us as we proceed, hall after hall. Coming upon the throne room, I can't help but feel a little bit awkward. In contrast, Altair isn't faced at all by it. He stays cheerful despite the dreary and intimidating surroundings. It just so happens that I'm friends with the royalty here. Uh, so, oh, hold on. It just so happens that I'm friends with the royalty here, but it looks like they're not here. Mind if I go to the servant quarters so I can let them know what's up first? All things going well. We'll enjoy the full six scores dinner and huge fluffy beds to sleep in tonight. I'll be right back. Uh, sure, I'll wait here. <laughs> cool, thanks. 
Altair gives me a pol polite wave and hurries turn to head inside. In the same moment, the book falls off to his cape without him seeming to notice. I bend over to pick it up off the floor for him. But before I can let him know, he's already left for the hall. I guess I can read through the book a little while waiting since it seemed interesting. Elysium's truth, huh? Let me guess. He dropped it on purpose and he's staring at us right now. I... I bet he, he, he would do it. He'd been really sad in reading it. I opened it to the first page. Prologue. The Hollow Tree. To understand the true Elysium, we must first understand the Hollow Tree. Thinking about it now, I haven't seen the Hollow Tree here at all. Shouldn't such distinct landmark be visible, even from far away? I continue skimming on the page one by one, skimming it through. Chapter 1. The Founding of Guild Tempest. Wait a second. This book is... Chapter 4. The Land of Sinukuni. It seems to be an encyclopedia about my home. Our home. Why would he be set on reading some about the land he lives and knows in first hand? He's our leader. He's the one who led so many of expeditions. Another chapter that towards the end catches my eye. Return to the true Elysium. Return? As in, we're not already there yet after all? Oh, don't scare me like that! I jolt and drop the book when he suddenly comes back into view. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Forgot my book. I'll need to take that with me. Alter crouches to collect it from the ground. As he does dirt off its surface, I collect my breath. Ah, uh, don't worry, I don't want it. Don't worry, I don't want your book. I just want to know where I really am. <laughs> Silly Mars, we're in the ice plane. This is a dangerous land of demons from central Elysium. So you grew a couple of centimeters in height and came out all this way in your Halloween costume to find me? Saying it out loud actually makes it sound all the more ridiculous. Wait, I, I wasn't actually wanted to call him out. I just want to want to lay down. The boys and I split up. They're checking on the other area areas like a fire plane in the skeleton country. The world we live in is much bigger is bigger than the historians ever let on. When the land is overrun by corruption bees, it makes sense that only the strongest adventurers are able to document and publish their findings in maps. Plenty of people will never make it back. Oh. Hmm. What's so special about this book, Altair? Hold on. I think my chat's frozen. I knew it. Dude has high heels. Oh yeah, he definitely is. What's so sp okay? What's so special about this book? <laughs> it's the only copy in existence. A deep read on the world we live in and its secrets. What's wrong? Don't you ever wonder about parallel worlds? I look at him for a long time. It's like he has, his eyes see straight through me. Like they see something that I don't. Not really? <laughs> you mean you've never wondered what, what another you might be like? I just try to take things day by day. I've got enough to deal with. Honestly, yeah. Same. It's not like the guild life is always rainbows and daisies. You know that better than anyone. <laughs> Tell me where the hollow tree is. It's too far to see from here. But it can't be seen even from Sinokuni. Something so big will just up and vanish. Unl not unless we're on another plane of existence or something. Look, Altair. I just wanted to tell me... Tell it to me straight. You're lying to me. <laughs> what if I told you the reason we don't see the hollow tree anymore is because it doesn't reach this place. Listen to me. What if I told you we are in a different world entirely? That the world we live in now is some kind of subworld anomaly. It's temporary and will likely will only last for a season. He drops the act. I see it in his posture. He adjusted himself and tried to make himself more approachable while acting as the guild leader that I know. However, without a faint atmosphere about him, his cruel and regal na nature bleeds through without him actively needing to try. Are you afraid of this world disappearing? 
I ask him out of sincerity, but he laughs at the question in a mocking way. He takes a moment to collect himself before his face slowly returns to its original state. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Listen to me. Before anything else, I need something from you. Why should I trust you? Very well. Just how much of that book did you read? Um, not much. Altair's lookalike tests me. Not very much, honestly. I was mostly skimming the chapter titles. Mm. So you saw it then. Which part? Chapter 10. Return to the True Elysium. Saw that, yeah. The True Elysium is probably my home, isn't it? Where the real Altair is? Real? Crap, am I shouldn't have phrased it like that. I can't meet these eyes for some stretch of time. See me to let what I said pass through. The stranger speaks once more. Listen to me. Dear Mars, allow me to make things very clear to you. This book holds secrets that only you, as a resident of the other Elysium, can help to come come to fruition. Neither Elysium is any more or less real than the other. Despite knowing that. You would like to see the Tempest members again, wouldn't you? So again. He takes my wrist and pulls me closer. His voice is low as it whispers to my ear, one syllable plot evenly after the other. Okay. I need something from you. Does that work? I don't know. And in exchange, I will help you return you to the true Elysium once you give it to me. While it is it true that I am called the Demon King by Reveling Lands, I can be quite benevolent should one know when to humble the Samson's simply all be. Demon King Regis? <laughs> Sublime, so you heard of me through him. I knew there had to be a tear up in the, our worlds by how much more often we've seen each other in our sleep lately. <laughs> well... Him and his nightmares. I never were kind to him. The sadistic smile that spreads across his lips instills fear in me, like that of a cornered animal. But I digress. Listen to me. You will do as I say. You don't have a choice. You will give me what I want. <laughs> oh my god, okay! Hit him! I don't accept orders from anyone undeserving of respect. Emblazoned by anger, I throw the back of my arm to the side of his face. I feel it impact and hear him grunt in pain. Oh damn, I just punched the demon king. <sighs> it's when he frees my wrist to catch where he has been struck that I know I'm able to make a run for it. I roll on my heel, and, uh, and the sounds of my footsteps spawns all about the throne room walls. Anywhere is safer than here. <laughs> Such an honor, yep. Such an honor to, to bitch slap the Demon King. Behind me, I hear the Demon King laughing. His laughter cuts short abruptly when the door closes into view. Oh. True to his demon title, the King commands the attention of all his servants. Mm. Enough of this. Guards, the dungeon. At, at least I, 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 I hit him. It's worth it. I'm not sure what happened between me and now. Uh, then and now. At the mercy of the Demon King's servants, I can only guess that I was knocked out and dragged to the dungeons. It would make sense. The floor under me is wet, hard and cold. I taste my own blood in my mouth. When I open my eyes, I see the Demon King through the bars watching me. He stares me down from a high place without compassion or care. The book from the library is in his hand. I think I catch a glimpse of a weapon on his hip. Oh! Oh no. He gives a page in the room one last look over before throwing it away behind himself. Listen to me. I need the keys. The what? The penjara. What the da? <laughs> my voice croaks out, unrecognizable to my own ears. I try to pull myself up, but my body will hardly move at all. The guards must really let me have it before. The Demon King's gaze falls to where I'm curled. 
The clicking of his footsteps drove closer to me. I don't crane up to look at him because my head is too heavy for my neck anymore. But I still feel him glaring through me. <coughs> the heel of the Demon King's boot comes down to the center of my palm, crunching in between his weight. Tears blur my vision while I try to free my hand from the under him. He chuckles at me when I do. With a remorse, the Demon King twists his heel further in my palm. Very well. We'll have it your way, Mars. Hmm. I'll play with you as long as you like. After the tendons in my hand give out under him with shatter and snap, oh, he broke my hand. The Demon King elegantly lifts his foot as if done nothing out of the ordinary. Crotty is as natural as him breathing as is. Uh, the barred iron door creaks from above me as I start to sob. The Demon King's figure casts a deep shadow over me as he laps himself into my dungeon cell. Taken from the candelabra just outside through the bars, he tips a burning candle over where I lay on the ground. He's... <sighs> Scouting hot candle wax splatters across the side of my face and neck. I spam on the floor, try curling into myself and to check myself. The Demon King is not abused with my reaction and drops the candlestick as indifferently as it been lift. The candle is snuffed out by his still bloody shoe heel. Listen to me. I'll say it again. I need the keys. If I knew how to give them to you, I would. Wax play. Eh. But I can't help you even if I wanted to. They're like spiritual or something. They're not physical keys. The option is different if you play his route first. How different? What's the option? Hmm. Liar. I'm not! My voice strange in a desperate way. Very well. They're quite stubborn. We're not finished here until you give the keys to me. My heart sinks into my stomach with the dread when I see him draw the weapon from his hip. He's gonna stab me. He only has one, I see. His blade's edge gleams blue, and he brings it down over my side. Blood erupts from the open wound as he pulls it across. <laughs> Listen to me. The keys. <laughs> the Demon King stabs the back of my arm with his weapon. His expression relaxed. Oh my god, that god, that's gotta be hurt. As I roll to try and bat him off me, I see that some of my blood has splashed on his cheek. Stop it! I need to get home! My head is spinning. A little more than a deposit on the floor, I muster all of my strength to try and crawl away from him. I need to get back. To kill... Tempest! Pain. I'm losing the ability to understand what's happening is this torture my dead yet Sheesh. <laughs> All right. Required five keys. Hmm. Ah, there you are. Oh my god. Um, um, uh, uh, eh? Nani, 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 quiet, 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 the game is getting more glitcher. Is it just me? It wasn't like this before. Alright, um... Altair. I'm gonna check your uh, gallery and profile real quick. Okay, um... Sheesh. Not my favorite angle, but I guess some of you will like it. Um...
um, profile. The Demon King of the Ice Plane. Regis Altair's doppelganger. Likes puzzles, submissive people reading, best in comp competition. Uh, dislikes ballroom dancing, loud laughter, insubordination, sleeping in late. Favorite food, Tan Tan Man. <laughs> he still likes doodles here, huh? Summary, cruelty comes to the Demon King as naturally as breeding does. A tactician and a tyrant. He instills fear in all who meet him after having taken the throne of the Ice Plane by force. With both ease and elegance, the Demon King was quick to dominate all lands, including the former ruling kingdom of evils. The Fire Plane. Presently unthreatened by any opposition, he now spends his day in search for other nations to conquer. Uh, one day, he will dream of another world and another version of himself. To numerous following prof uh, prophetic dreams and discovery of high ancient texts belonging to an archive called Holostars E.N. Halloween Project 2023. <laughs> the Demon King would come to learn that alleged parallel world, the real Elysium, where the real version of himself supposedly, supposedly resides beyond just the holiday season. Eager to expand his territories, the Demon King obsessed over finding a means to leave his world in hopes of Possessing his true self and stealing the real Elysium for himself. Uh, hi, Reyna. Hold on. Be careful. He can take down dragon uh, dragons with the single Taekwondo kick. Oh yeah, he did. It's got it's goblins. It's not even dragons, but I. It's possible. It's possible. He he can beat up dragons easily. I know. All right. Last route. I want to save, but honestly, I haven't saved at all. Look at my load. There's only like two filled in. Alright. Uh, skip. Last one. Shinwi Huntsman. <laughs> so, what do you think? That's just all I have for the seasoning. But I find that just a little salt and pepper goes a long way. Best to enjoy it fresh. The mysterious huntsman who found me lost in the forest has gone as far to spend his way fishing for a meal. Yep, I I know, I know, I know. Chimri, he's the nicest and everything, but then, uh, I know. Listen, I'm not dumb. The nicest people in the horror game is the worst villains. I know, I'm not dumb. Yeah, keep smiling. He's been so informative and helpful to me up until now. He would let me know that there is no guild called Tempest in this land. He would even believe me when I said I'm probably from a parallel world. We're sharing what we thought, what we call now under a blanket of twor twinkling stars. It's funny how calm I feel when lost in an unknown place. After taking a bite into the side of a fish you prepared, I revel in its taste. Perfectly crispy and evenly roasted over our campfire. Finally, some good food! <sighs> it's delicious. I can't get enough of it. <laughs> Great to hear. Just make sure you chew it carefully. The bones on that type of fish can catch you off guard. I had no idea. I navigate the fish carefully with my teeth and try not to eat so fast. Surely enough, there are some harder pieces here and there, but the flavor of the fish is by far worth the effort. I finish the fish from the skewer with a smile on my face. I have some carrots from the town in my cell back too. Mm. I usually sh share them with my horse, but you're welcome to have some for yourself. Nah, I don't like it raw. Saddleback? Over there, make yourself comfortable. The huntsman does gesture to his steed. By a naughty old tree, a large dark horse with a mane and tail of smoke watches me from the side. Well, it watches me somehow. Though it has no eyeballs and only empty sockets, it's still acutely aware of its surroundings. Shinri, are you Ghost Rider by any chance? Hey, yo! That would be dope! I've been terrified by the horse the first time I've seen the huntsman galloping on it. I still don't know how... I still don't know what to make it... What, what to make of it, if I'm being honest. You don't think I'll scare it if I approach it suddenly? <laughs> as long as you don't throw your arms up high or something, he's fine. 
Hold on. Sorry, Aniki. I already told him I'm streaming, but he still like knocked my door. Yeah, he's getting me some sate. Let's go. Uh, sate kambing. A gold sate. Why don't you try petting its shoulders? Here goes. I can't say I ever pet a demonic looking horse without eyes before. I made my way over and touched the side of his shoulders. It's cold twitches under my touch, but the horse otherwise doesn't leave its spot. <laughs> he said hi. See? Really? Maybe. Maybe. I echoed the huntsman before I sift through the saddlebag hanging off the side of the horse. Surely enough, the carrots he mentioned before are wrapped in plastic. The horse attention is on the new snack. Don't worry. Don't worry. You can ignore him if you want to. He's poor and it's plenty. The huntsman mount seems to be denying the claim and nudges his nose towards the carrots. Though I see the huntsman shaking his head, I'm weak and unable to resist sharing. After fishing one of his sticks from the back, I flatten my palm and offer it to the forest to eat. <laughs> and spoil it yet again. He's kind of cute. Oh yeah? Just don't let him know. Anyway, shall we roast the rest of the loose carrots? Good idea! What does that taste? Roast carrots? After letting a huntsman horse finish, um, I bring the remaining carrots to his side uh, by a fire. Say, what should I call you anyway? Me? You, I don't think you gave me your name, right? The huntsman is quiet. I carefully roast the carrots over the fire. It's best I don't give you my name, given the circumstances. Let's just say that I'm not so popular with the royals. Is there an outlaw or something? These lands are corrupt. I just tried to set things straight. Okay, okay, Robin Hood. Ah, so he's more like a vigilant. Vigilante. Oh, that's okay. I'll just keep calling you Huntsman then. Mm. Works for me. Sorry not to share many, too many details. It's alright, you can call me Mars. Mm. Hmm. Did I say something wrong? It's nothing. No, no, I just found it a little ironic. An acquaintance hinted I may run into someone named Mars the other night. Small world, isn't it? Do I know your acquaintance? Mm. Possibly. I had some conversation with him here and there, but we've yet to meet in person. Mm. You could call us pen pals. So it's long distance. Hopefully you two get to meet someday. Maybe someday. Somehow. The carrots are finished. I sprinkle some salt across them. All done. You want some too? Mm. No, that's alright. You take them. Tomorrow will be, will, will be a long day for you. We should rest up. You don't have to help me get home, you know. I feel bad making you go out of your way. I found him from around the carrot I'm eating. Mm. <laughs> I feel like I look dumb like eating a carrot. And leave you on your own. I can't do that. The fire plane's not too far from here. And that land had, has been in chaos ever since. To put it simply, the nearest kingdom is too dangerous for a stranger on their own. Don't worry. It's no trouble at all for me to help you return to your world. So don't worry about it. It'll be okay. We'll be figure out t together. I promise. His smile puts me at ease. Would be rude, but to re refuse his help at this point, right? Hold on, I just had a thought. Since his go his 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 horse is literally ghost rider. Is he a ghost? Knowing the actual Shinri, he he's into ghost girls. So I would assume, right? It's not bad either. After exploring this world, little on my own, he's, he'd been the only person to hear me out. Let alone be kind to me. 
Thank you, Huntsman. Hmm. After taking turns to bat in the river, river, we wrapped up the night fairly early. I'm more exhausted than I thought. It doesn't take me long before I drift off to sleep. Or at least, I think I'm asleep when I hear the Huntsman talking to himself. Hmm. Hey, are you there? So you hear me too. Nobody is there, right? I don't hear any another voice responding to him. Mars arrived on my side. Me? I'm losing you. Say that again. I strain to listen harder, but there's still no other voice present. The huntsman is talking to himself outside my tent, my tent, as if someone is there with him. I wonder if I should worry. I'm not sure. No worry. I know. Don't worry. I'll keep Mars safe. I'll try and keep you posted around this time again. The conversation with himself ends. Everything goes quiet, and I hear the huntsman shuffling over his own tent. Too sleepy to keep wandering, I drift off into slumber. Sleep well? The huntsman greets me when I see him the next morning. I remember how unsettling it'd been to hear him carry on a conversation with himself all night. Uh, last night. Should I try begin it? No, no, no. Keep it to myself. No, I think I'll keep it to myself. I'm lacking context, and I'd prefer he bring it up with, with me of his own accord. If he feels comfortable enough to explain, I should trust that he will. I have no reason to not think so. Right? He's taken s such good care of me so far. I slept fine. I didn't wake you, did I? I thought I heard you steering around there for a while. Oh, no, not at all. I hear my own nervousness surf surfacing in my voice. The huntsman reads past it, and I can tell he knows I'm actually flustered. I have heard my gaze elsewhere, but he addresses what I wondered last night directly. Mm. I, con I contacted my acquaintance last night. The one who made me think I might find you here in the forest. I hadn't heard his acquaintance respond, though. The huntsman is being open with me, showing all his cards, and yet it doesn't add up. I see... Um, what did he say? If you don't mind me asking, of course. Mm. Hmm. He said that he hopes to find you, your way home soon. Why is there such sadness in his eyes when he smiles at him? Huntsman? Yes. You should know that I'm thankful, thankful for your help. I don't forget this. I'll tell everyone how you helped me and how kind of person you mm. are. You don't need to do that. Maybe not. But I want to. Is that what you want? I won't stop you. <laughs> Besides, stuck on this side, it's not like I even have a choice. You shouldn't say it like that. Who knows, maybe you could find a way to let you over for visits. He's still smiling. But it doesn't reach his eyes. We'll see. The huntsman gazes across the forest. We should have a breakfast soon, Mars. It'll be okay. Let's head to town and see what we can find there, alright? Alright. For a moment, he pats my shoulder. He's so mysterious and kind. I just wish I could have him more. I wonder if I'll ever know what's passing through his mind. I think I'm going to die before I could. I will never forget the night I find you crying by yourself in the forest, Mars. You called me Shinri. Josuiji Shinri. I understood my role as your protector. Because I've known who you meant. Because prior to your arrival, Shinri's voice, as well as his memories of you from the other side, had reached me. Stronger and stronger. Realms apart. It didn't matter. Shinri and your guild companions were searching for you. Okay. Um. And so, from for this side, we reach the lands together. Together on horseback, Mars. Day by day, we traverse just about all of this Elysium in hopes of finding a way home. But we'll fail. We spoke to mercenaries, to peasants, to nobility. But none of them had ever mentioned, heard of the, another Elysium. Maybe they hadn't, but I had. Because... 
for reasons I hadn't told you. I've been what I had been wanted by many kingdoms for a long time. I wonder. Have you heard of something called doppelganger? I'm too afraid to ask you. Because if I do, and if the text I've stolen from a certain king turns out to be true, it means that in order to leave this place, you have to... What? <laughs> the time to dark! Oh, oh yeah! Woo! Yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for! That's what it's all about! Woo! <laughs> Thank you for today. We searched just about everywhere together, didn't we? I know you said that you want to help, but... I wouldn't blame you for stopping at this point. You're still feeling bad about it, I see. Oh, you're still feeling bad about it, I see. You worry too much about me. But for someone like me, it's fine not to. Then again, that must be something you learn from your world, from the other me, and your guildmates. Don't worry. No need for that. It'll be okay. I promise I'll help you find your way back, and I'm a man of my word. My words put you at ease. I watch as you hand huddle closer to your arc campfire and just a blanket over your shoulders. The two of us seem to have to follow a routine by now. Just you and me here, with one, with no other than ourselves. Some people go to their whole lives without knowing this kind of simple happiness. I thought I'd be one. How long has it been since you arrived? Because I have come to enjoy your presence so much, I lost track of time and stopped counting. Maybe it's been a couple of weeks now. Or had it been longer? Do you remember how long it's been since we started looking? Uh, no, I forgot. So you feel the same? I guess I stopped paying attention. So, I'll get back up eventually. And this isn't terrible. You've been a good friend to me. I realized that no one said that to me before. I can't recall a time anyone has referred me to as their friend. I pulled the brim of my head. <laughs> I forgot to keep count too. I suppose it can't be helped. Right? Anyway, you take your turn batting first and then. I need to make some preparations for tomorrow. Oh yeah? Tomorrow? A few days ago when I asked you about your birthday, you couldn't tell me. Ah, that. How hard... How can I explain that? My memory doesn't go that f far back. It's like I'm... This world is... I thought that was really sad, Hansman. Oh, yeah? Did you? Of course I would. So we're celebrating your birthday tomorrow. Aww! Your birthday going forward would be... Today. 16th April. Don't forget today. Mm. Don't forget, okay? Hmm. If you say so. I'll tell you that I don't need it, but you're too excited for me to try and stop you. I'll take a bath now. Good, take your time! Hmm. The moonlight makes the, the moonlight makes the river shine silver. I take my time in the water. Oh no, the music. My hair sticks to the nape and on my neck when I wash it. Then I think about it, how would you call me by your friend? I've gone as far to make a birthday for me too. What if we were happy like this, Mars? If you didn't want to go back anymore. No, I can't think of like that. It's not right for you to stay here. I can't believe the thoughts are even surfacing in my mind right now. I close my eyes to try to escape them. And when I do, I see a memory. One of his memories. CG? Oh! It's morning. Shinri is happy and sharing a pot of coffee with you and your friends. Someone with two different colored eyes spills some on his uh, fellow, and this pet jingles slowly as it flees the splash. A man with blonde hair is arm wrestling with a smaller man in ponytail. Ah, uh, excellent, Haka. A young man in white and blue is carrying a still sleeping red-headed teammate into the room on his back. Honestly, I can see this happening. Like. Altair and Flayon just looks like they could be siblings. I don't know. I just had that thought. 
Did he just not want to wake up? Seems like it. <laughs> Let's give him 30 minutes. I see things for what they are. Life together with me in this miserable parallel world could never compare to something like the life you had before. So I'll send you home. I'll send you somewhere happier without hesitation. And according to that text I stole from the highest plane, for the project called Doppelganger, I know exactly what I'm doing. I have to help you finish this route that we were trapped in. Today is the Huntsman's birthday. Since he told me he couldn't remember his real one, I thought it might be fun to try celebrating today. He doesn't know it, but I managed to prepare a gift. I'm excited to give it to him. Fourth wall is broken. Mm -hmm. If only I could actually find him. He's not in his tent. Weird. Uh, Huntsman, are you here? Aside from me, our camp is empty. His horse is gone. I have a sinking feeling in my stomach. Uh, search deeper into the forest, because that just sounds right. I search deeper parts of the forest with him. Oh yeah, but there's no sign of him anywhere. Shit, I should have saved before. Huntsman? Did he commit on life? I call for him again and still not met by a response. Why do I feel like something terrible has happened to him? No, I can't panic. I need to stay calm. I have to think of myself. Why? What if I go to town? I hurry from the forest to meet to the meadows that I remember. Huntsman? From what I see next is. <coughs> okay, who did this to you? The huntsman is laying on the ground. An arrow protrudes from his chest. His dark hair is pulled around his head and his hat sacks from its usual position. His blood stains the blades of grass beneath him, dark and greedy red. As he looks at me, I see it dribbling down the side of his mouth as well. How long has it been like this? Who did this to you? I fall to his side. I can't believe my eyes. <sighs> I'm sorry. I didn't want you to see. As I reach through the arrow to his chest, the huntsman's child touched the side of my wrist to stop me. Listen to me, it's okay. It's not okay, you need help! <sighs> Mars. My eyes are flooding with tears. I can't stand the sight of him hurting like this. Am I too late? Can he still be safe? Don't cry. This may not make sense to you, but I did this to myself. Oh, he did come with unalive. I did this to Sandy home. To himself? For me? I never wanted this! My throat is burning. I cup and sob, unable to keep myself under the control. Don't cry anymore, okay? Sorry. I don't want you to cry on my birthday. He musters his strength to smile. Even now, he's thinking of me. Your birthday was supposed to be today! It wasn't supposed to be like this. I wanted to do something special to you. Then smile at me. How can I? If you can't now, then smile at him. The other me. On the other side. Because this won't be the last time I see you. I see you through him. <laughs> do you understand? I see the shine disappearing in his eyes. His death seems so long and painful. Trust me, alright? This has to happen. No. 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 I must believe in what he says. I inhale shakily and nod. I believe you. I trust you. He lays his head back to the, on the grass, but even that movement seems excruciating from him. To his left are his bow and his arrows. And thought I believe this must happen because he's telling me so. With his bow and arrow, I could happen. I could. Could I? You don't have to. 
He's still so kind. He'll allow me to leave him here, but I can't do that to him. I will. I rise from where I crouch. I'm like headed from crying, but I collect the arrows and raise the bow in my hands. Oh my god. I am between his eyes. Oh no, no, not the eyes! His smile has finally met them this time. I want to help him. I don't want him to hurt anyone. And most importantly, I want to smile for him from the other side. I draw the bow and... He's dead. <laughs> Happy birthday, Huntsman. That was fucked up. That was legit fucked up. I don't know what to feel. This gives me Witch from Mercury flashback. I haven't played that game, but this is fucked up. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. <laughs> Let's see. Gallery real quick. Listen, Shinri dying. And yeah, we pretty much got all of Tempest so far. Altair, Axel, Battle, Haka, Shinri, and Fleon. So we got one last thing. And therefore. <coughs> Let us go finish this. Lore? Lore! Unlock all character profiles. Oh wait, I haven't read Shinri's. Oh. Sorry, I forgot, I forgot. I should have read it. Shinri? Josuiji Shinri's doppelganger. Likes fishing, sleeping under a starlight, getting to the locals, protecting the weak. Dislikes haunted places. Okay. He's the opposite this time. Pre pretentious businesses, faithfulness, and invasive personal questions. Favorite food, gyros. What is gyros? I never heard of it. Steed, fast, and mysterious huntsman's loyalty belongs to no kingdom. And he, he follows his strong moral compass without a core for where it is lands him. He rides a ghastly horse without eyes and... Through his appearance can be intimidating. Here he is revered by many villagers as a wandering hero and vigilante. Uh, not much is known about his past, but it would seem that he harbors many grudges towards royalty and often acts in opposition to their wishes. At some point, he even faced imprisonment in the Ice Plain for stealing the high ancient tax of the archive called the Whole Stars EN Halloween Project 2023, in which he learned the true nature of this world. Shortly before the player arrived in the other Elysium, and the Huntsman would also become capable of monetary spiritual contact with his other self. Josui Shinri. After bearing, bearing witness to Shinri's strong memories and emotional attachments, the Huntsman felt compelled to serve as the player's protector. While he would grow attached to spending time with the player, the Huntsman would eventually accept the futility of this world's nature and sacrifice himself to help send the player back to the real Elysium and his other self. Which is fucked up! Right. It's getting more scarier. Wait, wait, yeah, I'm sorry, no. Oh. The music's kind of stop. I'm Mars. Uh, skip. Oh. Wait, I, I click everything. Now what? Am I missing something? What do I do? Is there... Are there? Oh, so I actually pressed that. Okay. Wait, what do I do? Should I just press random and then wait, you know? Um. Oh, maybe Altair again. I don't know. He did ask for it. Huh? Huh. Wait, what do I do? What do I do? Hold on, let me return. Let's skip the... 
出たい、うん、あれあれあれあれあれあれあれあれあれどうしようどうしようどうしようもう一回、ちょっと、プレスアンドディングランダム。Let's try. ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、Um, did you just any route and exit? So, oh, there we go. What was my name? Mars. Mars? Yeah. In the fast darkness, another door appears to you. A mysterious door with six keyholes, each of them with different jewel card lining. As you approach it now, you'll know where it lay. After all, you've been through a lot to get here. You remember the many stories you witnessed and played a part in. The Huntsmans, the Carsa Demons, the Abandoned Automatons, the Showmans, the Exiled Prince, the Demon Kings. All six keys you've worked hard to collect dissipate into the abyss. A lock clicks, and when you finally open the door. Okay, we've seen this. We've seen this. I'm almost home. Wait for me, guys! I wake up beneath the shade of a large tree. Is this the start of another Twisted story? I don't know anymore. My whole body is sore and there are knots in my back. I take a deep breath. This place looks like a Lyceum. It looks like a meadow not too far from the Guildhall actually, but... Mars, is that you? Did it work? They're back! Look! I see them over there! For real? Move out the way, Battle. Why is he gonna be out like that? Everyone else is in their way too. Wait, did we really find Mars? I was worried we were going to have to make signs for a missing person. Why are you guys smiling? Why are you guys smiling? Finally! Now that we found Mars, we can call this done and get the Halloween party started like we want to. As the Tempest Guild members come closer to me, I prop myself upright at the base of the tree. Oh! Aww! Aww! Look at them! Look at them cute boys! Look at them good boys! Go look at that! I'm stunned and at loss for words. Guess I've. Because I've experienced so many tragedies, I don't even know what to say to them. Would they believe me if I told them what I saw? Had I just come out here and seen a series of different nightmares? No, they're definitely been real. I can't believe otherwise. Sorry, everyone, for making you worry. How long have you guys been working for me? Way too long. By that, I mean a couple of days now. Yeah, top of the world. Are you alright? You're lucky you've been through it. Want me to carry you back? I... How do I even approach this subject? Was I here the whole time? What did I look like when you saw me? You look like you're sleeping just now, but they definitely weren't here the whole time. We searched most of Elysium for you after you were gone too long. Yeah, Altira sent me and Shinri out of his way to check yesterday. We didn't see you then, but maybe we just didn't notice. Who knows? No, that's not it. I was over here two or three times when you look. So I must really disappear and then reappear here. 
I physically wound up to the other side, just like I thought. And now, after experiencing those six different tragedies, I'm back here. I don't know how to even begin explaining what happened to the boys, so I'll save it for another day. For now, I'm just relieved to be back. Things are going to be okay now. Is it? I miss them. I miss this guy so much. I had some really bad dreams. Really, really bad dreams. I don't know why I was out so long, but that's about all I can say. That's okay, I get it. Hmm. I understand that feeling too. The two of them look at each other as if they know something I don't before they look at me again. Come to think of it. Hadn't their doppelgangers have come into contact with their other selves? Allegedly? I guess I'll just find an opportunity to ask them one day. Let's not beat around the bush. Let's, we should get Mars up in the dirt. So are we still going to open the hall for the party? They can't hurt. That's a good way to welcome Mars back. Alright, we got a sad sound system for a karaoke. Wait, what's behind Phantom? What is he holding? Oh, it's, it's the hat. I thought it was like, what was that? Come on, Mars. Let's get you back inside. The boys helped me out from the grass and led me back towards the guild hall. When I'm on both feet, I'm met by a group heart. Aww! Some of them must their hair to tease me, but I don't pay attention because I'm home. Are we really home though? I'm just... I'm home. Finally home. I'm where I belong. I can't even describe how relieved I am. How good that feels. As the Tempest Guild Hall slowly comes into view, I look forward to Halloween spent together with my friends. Um, this is April though. Okay. Yay! Pachi, 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 pachi! Damn, Manesans! You really made good stuffs right here. Shikamane! Hakseki. Man, props to the artists as well and Seki case is a key crown, yeah. <laughs> Not gonna lie, this is a lot of effort for like a quick like Halloween game. I don't know, maybe you know like something like um something like uh let's say What is it like Hollow Life Error? I don't know if, if it's like longer than this or not, but I assume it, it it is because there's like multiple chapters, right? Oh wait, I'm missing achievements. Ho 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 ho! I'm missing achievements. I'm missing achievements. Hold on. Mate, mate, mate. Why? Why did I? Okay, I'm missing some. I'm missing some achievements. I'm, and now I'm. I'm kind of itch. Hold on. Scene. Um. I I don't. Yeah, I don't think there's much to do. Um. All right. I'm. I it's feel. It felt like I'm missing some achievements. Huh? I felt like I, I went a little bit too quick on battle though. Maybe Shinri? Technically I'm done, but I want to clear up some achievements real quick. If you guys don't mind. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Let's just skip. Since we have cap capability to skip. Um... Okay, let's skip. Let's just okay. There, there. Some, some of it like requires me to get like, um, do things over over again. This is awful. I'm so sorry. 
So play the love. Okay, that's another achievement. How about this? Let's see, okay, it doesn't change anything. Doesn't change anything. Okay. Same thing. Do nothing. Okay, at least we got like achievement. Did entertain you, did How about Okay. Now do nothing. Don't laugh. Don't respond. For sure, man, should do in first if one achievement. Yeah. How about this? Okay. Should move in first. Oh. Okay. Then we can we can restart again. Don't worry. Okay. I'm just gonna. I am I am I am achievement hungry. So yeah. Okay. I need. Can I go quicker? <laughs> okay, boo, right? Okay. Oh, my eyes. I did not get an achievement. I did not get an achievement. I did not get an achievement, so I'm gonna leave. Okay, um... Okay, what else? Um, I'll knock another one. Four, four remaining. Okay, who? Wait, okay, 20. Hmm... I don't think I am I have enough for Shinri's as well. Let's do that real quick. Shinri... I don't know what Haka. Huntsman chose... Go to force... Okay. Uh... No, that's Fleons. Um... Uh, Three times, okay. <laughs> That's all. Hmm. Is there an auto? Oh, there, oh, there is an auto. Okay, we can skip this. Damn, his monologue is so long. Hmm. Go 
to force three times. I see, I see. Let's do that. As soon as we're done with the... Okay. One. Two. Three. Okay. Okay, we can, we can leave now. And... What else? Three more. I think we're missing one on Hakka. I don't know why. I think I'm missing one on Hakka. Let's see. Uh, maybe Altair? Altair? I think Altair is enough. Uh, I got three more. Oh, you know what? Let's just like spoil it. Wait before. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, let's go to Haka. There you go. You can leave. Um You get grilled cheese. I just got it. And is suffering. Oh, okay, we gotta we gotta go back to Shinri. Oh. Very there's another one for Shinri. Okay, skip. Hmm. Man, visual novels are fun. Hmm. <laughs> been waiting. Yeah. I don't get it. Like I, I tried bullying for battle, and then I did somehow. It you know, it didn't happen. Well, Huntsman did did nothing wrong. <laughs> I feel bad for him. Okay. Oh. Okay, how long do I... How long do I have a wait? I feel bad. How long? Wait for a while before... Okay, so I pre... Let's just say I waited and I pressed it. Nothing happened. Maybe it could could have done a little longer. Okay, hold on. The boo showman was the first time out. I tried that, but I couldn't get it. Uh let me go back to Bell. So boo? I tried. Okay, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. 
Weird. Okay, fine. You know what? I guess that's enough. It's pretty late as well, so yeah, I don't want to keep you guys for too long. Um, that's that's doppelganger. Yeah, I'm still missing three achievements, but I think I can do it on my own. Yeah, but that's pretty much the story. What did you guys think? I. Wow, this is a very well packed game. It's it's short, but it's fr it's full of contents. It's just that um, I think like uh, there's a little bit false advertising that I thought that there's gonna be like a whole line that they read, but apparently no. But I believe some members like um, they put it in memberships though. I believe like some members like um, Haka and Altair like. They dub it live on stream while playing it. So yeah, I think like if you guys into it, then uh, get to their memberships. And um, the world building was simple, but it's pretty understandable, I guess. And yeah, um, should I regret that I played Adiki's route first? Because who oh boy? That was the biggest bait I ever, I ever, I ever felt, man. <laughs> it was something. It was something. And boy, they really, they really went hard on choosing the, the, the soundtracks on this. Thanks for stream. Sorry, I'm rapping so much. No, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. You know. We're just uh, enjoying our Oshis in video games. Why not? Also, Aniki is still streaming VCR, so I want to go watch that after this. Actually, I'm, I might go to sleep, but I really want to watch it, or else, you know, uh, the VOD is always gonna be there. Unless if he says anything weird. But yeah, um. Fleon too? Wait, Fleon is live too? I didn't know. Oh, okay. Interesting, interesting, yeah. I hope you guys enjoy VCR. VCR is very fun. Yeah, uh, check out Aniki stream. Do I need to link it here? If, yeah, in case if you some of you guys are not familiar with Horror Stars, watch Aniki now. <laughs> there you go. All right, I'm gonna end it right here. Thank you guys for sticking with me. I hope you guys enjoyed Double Ganger. Um, yeah, technically this is not this has no replayability. So once you watch the stream, you pretty much couldn't play it. But if you still want to give it a chance, uh, I'll, I'll I'll edit the description and then add the game link or something. But yeah, that's it for today. I turned out to be more sane than I thought, except for the first time. Oh, play on the oh play on the double gig. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. I get. It. I see. I see. I see. Yeah. The only time I went thirsty, the full thirst is like during Aniki's part. And it's understandable, right? You know, I'm, I'm just a. Um, whatever. <laughs> yeah, um. I, I hope you guys enjoyed the fan service. The boys have, you know, gave for you, for, you know, for Halloween. And yeah, I, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of want another of these. And uh, Ollie's gonna have her visual novel coming soon. So if you guys are into it, you feel free to check, check that out. I don't know, but I might, I might, I might, you know, keep an eye on it. Some, I... <laughs> games about VTubers are actually like very, very good idea. It's not just like about like... Making a whole different story. You can see your Oshi in a lot of ways in video games. I think like Astel has a game as well. Like it's like a murder mystery thing. I haven't checked that out. I'm not really deep into the JP side. I'm more into the EN side. But yeah. Again. Check them out. The boys. They're amazing. I love them all. Armis as well. Yeah. I'm just. I'm just a fan. That's it. 
Anyway, it's it's late, so yeah, get some rest if you're you know if you're on daytime. Have fun. Um, I hope you have a great day. And yeah, I hope you guys, you know, take care of yourselves, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.